Okay, I think I'm ready to get started. Let's chat. So we are essentially on our way to the Mana Sanctuary, where we will totally not do anything with the Benevidon slash God Beasts that were mentioned throughout the game. Definitely will not be relevant. Surely nothing will come of it. But anyway, from that standpoint, we're going to go ahead and start the game in just a moment. I think we're doing pretty good in terms of finding the cactus. And if I happen to be missing any by the end of the game, I can... It looks like if I get to... I think it's at 35. I can find them with the tracker. That could be useful. Let's go switch into things. <laughs> I see the bot has died again. I don't know what's going on with stream elements lately, chat. I do apologize for that. Trials of Mana. Yeah, they had some kind of big update lately where uh, it seems to have broken literally everything. But I don't see anything on their Discord about it. So I'll just try a fresh install or something later. Oh. Right. So we still have to leave. That's fair, also. This time I remembered run isn't on by default, which again... If I said it's a constant, it's just... It's one of those little pet peeves where it just goes like, why? That's what I think about when that stuff kind of happens. Oh, I got clipped there. That's unfortunate. Ooh, I thought I'd have more time to attack. That sucked. I'm just going to go back and heal then. Actually, you know what? It shouldn't matter. Let's continue onwards. Take advantage of her meter, though. Still wish you'd never cross paths with us. No time. Welcome, Parameter. Hopefully, you're doing well. a pretty easy one shot. If that doubled XP that would have leveled me. It's a shame. Okay, leave it to me. I love him just not dodging at all as Kevin. Thanks game. I just built some meter. Misunderstood. Never mind. For some reason, I thought the beach was south, and I'm like, no, 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 that's the maze. That was me being silly there. Well, speaking of silly, how many more of the little cactus things do we need? Just two? Okay. Yeah, so it's 35 for that. Triple XP could be good. I'm assuming the final ability is broken. Let's see how it goes. So I wonder if, like, if I was playing on a higher difficulty, if I would want to have somebody that focuses on class strike generation. So in theory, I could swap over, for example, Hawkeye into Ninja, if that happened to grant SP bonuses or something like that. And by SP, I mean the CS. I hit both buttons, none of them talk. That's so sad. One day, though. 
So yeah, the team right now... I mean, Kevin doesn't really do anything for synergy. He's just meant to be buffed. So if the enemy is debuffed, which seems to be very strong compared to the buffs so far in the game, then he ends up being the main DPS. I've noticed the AI doesn't really like to combo, which is kind of unfortunate. Like, I'm watching myself do like 50, 50, 50, 190. I never see the AI do burst damage, so I wonder if they're just not able to combo. Because I think like the early Tales games had that issue. Where they would just get like two hits and maybe would do a special technique. Like how it's telling me like this is a blue bio and I'm like, I know, I've literally been here before. <laughs> Why aren't we giving me this cutscene again? Game, please. Made it! Gotta open the sanctuary portal! Can't delay! Come on! We're doing bond parameter. Thank you for everything. I never could have attempted to open the portal all on my own. Mana has continued to weaken throughout our journey. But I think I can still manage with what remains of my strength. Oh, I'll give it a try. Elementals, lend me your powers! <laughs> Time to show my stuff. Don't you worry, sister. You got this. You hear? <laughs> Do it! I won't hold back. We won't be defeated. Here goes. I give you all of my dark power. Hey yo, here we go. Did did they not sound balance him correctly? Let us give this everything we have. Why was he so much louder than the others? that this is all I can do. I only hope that it will help. Almost, almost there. Ah, oh, come on, you can do this, fairy. Believe in the elementals and your own power. You can do this, fairy. Just a little more. <sighs> Thank you, everyone. Mana has grown weaker than I expected. <sighs> the portal won't get any larger. Okay, I'll try one more time. Please, Goddess of Mana, help us!
Maybe one day we'll see what the Crimson Wizard story actually is. Crimson Wizard? From Altana? <laughs> we couldn't activate the Mana Stones with the forbidden magic alone. Thank you so much for releasing enough mana energy. Now Altana's flying battleship, Gigantress, will begin the invasion of the Sanctuary of Mana. Please accept this gift with our warmest regards. <laughs> I was going to say, I know the Flying Beast spin is at some point. Here we go. <laughs> Your Majesty, Beastmen subjects, now is the time to invade the Sanctuary of Mana. Once you get the Sword of Mana, the human world will tremble at your feet. You can create a beast man utopia. <laughs> Does that sound equitable, your furry majesty? Hmm. Proceed with your plan. Yes, sire. Now then. Gods! <laughs> We're off to the front line. Why does it look like this cutscene is rendering in slow-mo? What was going on with the frame rate there? Feeling okay there, game? Yeah, I don't know why the Crimson Wizard didn't just kill us when he clearly was untouchable in the sky. That's what we like to call dumb villain problems. Melokio? What is it? They have opened the portal to the sanctuary. Are you prepared? You forget to whom you speak. Of the two of us, you are the one who is late. Now, what news do you have of his Dark Majesty? He used the last of his essence to bring the Darkstone back from Mavolia and into this realm. His Dark Majesty has perished. Then it is proceeding as he planned. I have prepared the vessel that will bring us through the portal and into the Sanctuary of Mana. Let us cast off. Once we have the Mana Sword, we can easily revive his Dark Majesty. With his Dark Powers, we can transform this realm into Mavolia itself. We cannot fail in this mission, or his Majesty will be lost forever. Okay? Gotta follow them! But how? If you haven't noticed, the portal's way up there. Oh! The Wing Defender! The what? In the mountains is a place called Celestial Peak. Our protector, the Wing Defender, oversees both land and sky. We can ask for his aid. That's perfect! Let's hurry!
Well, I guess we'll go back for now. Oh, I wasn't sure if we could break those or not. I guess it'll be kind of nice if I get another class upgrade and get more CS gauge to play with. I think the downside is just that uh, allies are just kind of okay at generating it. So I'm hoping as we get into another class upgrade, we get more support skills that go towards that. Like, technically I have the spirit ups. Oh, it does have that awkward honk button. I was testing that. I remember that from the SNES. I, I don't really understand what the sound effect is, but we can beep, beep the horn as it were. Like, I'm half wondering if for him, if I should go with other spirit abilities. Uh, so I've just been sitting on points. Don't really care about spirit plus five. I might care about CS boost. You know what? I'll try it just to do something different. So let's put abilities on characters we don't really care about. I really care about her MP at all and boss battles. I don't think I do. Hmm. Let's get rid of stat down resist. Make him have lucky find two. Put payback one and two on. To maybe get. I'm assuming it's a total of 25%. And then move it so that I get. of CS. Let's see if this works a little better. Yeah, Ambush 2 I think is worth taking. I could get rid of his bonus HP just to get lucky find. Maybe I'll do that. Let's see if this makes me enjoy the combat a little more. We can get to Celestial Peak from the Citadel. Hurry! We must not let those people. Actually, speaking of which, maybe I don't have any interesting abilities. I mean, I think luck is what I should definitely focus on. Move MP Saver. I don't think I really care about that. Chance of putting enemy to sleep. Change enemy form. Toxic. Him having enhanced status effects would make sense for other things. I wonder if I were to switch classes, if it means that he could then, like, take the abilities from here and move it to the other one. I guess I never really experimented with that. So far, her strength ups are mostly pointless, to be honest. Damage up by enemy targeting the player decreased by 5%. Oops. Keep thinking that rotates and it doesn't rotate. Oh, I'm sorry. What was what was that other thing? Stat decrease from move down increased by five percent. Oh. Uh, I think I want that actually. What's downtime? Increases duration. Uh, let's do this. Welcome, Granite Knight. Hope you're doing well. Hmm. Oh, and anybody can take this. Yeah, I think I want Super Stat down on her. I think that matters to me a little more than the other abilities. Not sure if MP down really matters either.
Hmm. Guess this is fine for now. Man, chat, what I would have loved to have been able to disable moves here. You have no idea. People who entered the sanctuary, get away. Next. Sorry about that. Stay true. I'm a force to be reckoned with. At least with how much damage I'm doing, I built CS pretty quickly. Aw, is it over? That's disappointing. At this point, they are pretty much free XP. I don't mind getting encounters like this. Yeah, I don't lose that much time for attacking them. Potentially, I get more money than I need. We're getting too good for these guys. Sadly, no unlockables there. Harpy, I think, was a useful item. That was the last of them. Don't get too comfortable, though. Oh, see that? Yeah, I got a couple wishes. A couple wishes is definitely worth getting. So because we're so strong, it's actually pretty fast XP. I don't mind. These are the kinds of things where if it takes a lot of encounters to level, I'm okay with. Or unless I just don't break his armor. I guess no matter what my strength is, I don't one-shot his armor. That's kind of annoying. How did she miss her class strike? Game, please. So she almost leveled again. I've almost leveled again. I like a little damage they're doing to me. Yeah, I think that new setup is making it a lot more fun because I'm able to chain a lot more class strikes with the 25% reduction and 10% gained on kill makes the fights a lot faster even though I might be giving up strength for the next class ability more than I would like oh I was gonna go to Laurent but whatever oh I see a little cactus from here nice try game thank goodness you are safe hmm the wing defender Yes, ma'am. We will unblock the path at once. Please stay safe, Captain. I feel bad that we get, like, the, the C movement, and then we barely use it, and it just immediately invalidates him. So one more, and I could just guaranteed find the cactus. So yeah, potentially for boss fights, I can remove the uh, CS on kill if I feel like micromanaging it. Otherwise, I think the current setup is okay. So let's see if there's any little cactus sightings here. Not seeing anything so far. Oh, I can't jump across the gap. Disappointing. Okay, 
Okay, I did a full combo and that didn't interrupt him. I'm not bothering with that. Awkward day-night transition while moving. Thank you, game. Love it. There's a chest here, though. More chocolates. That's good. So at least so far, I haven't had a reason to go back for healing. So maybe we hit, like, the... Maybe we got past the hard part of the game for a while. Oh. That hitting me multiple times because he got stuck in the corner is kind of obnoxious. Just so far. It's a good combo. Silver item seed, not bad. So being able to give them class strike is kind of nice. I mean, they're they're not smart enough to just lead with it, which is kind of annoying, but like at least now with this new CS gain, it feels a little better to play. Where was that shiny that I saw earlier? I'm a little confused what I was just viewing from this other room. I saw it when I was here. Oh, it's underneath the other path. Oh, okay. Now I understand where that is on the minimap. So I gotta go backwards a little bit. Did I just drop down here? Okay, good. So I want to make sure I'm looking for little cactus. So far, no sightings. We're gonna ignore the fight for now. But yeah, I think with this new CS approach, I'm enjoying combat a little more. I feel it's kind of like the D&D approach, where I'm thinking more about like the builds, but I don't necessarily enjoy playing the builds. So it gives me something to at least think about as we level up. I do want to see what class change does, and if that improves the feel of the game significantly or not. Did the extended aerial momentum there. Would have thought a little cactus would have been around here somewhere, but still not seeing him. It is possible they're not here. Are we doing money wise? 35,000? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what happens when you avoid like 20k and uh, normal purchases. Oh, that actually reached me? That sucks. I mean, I think I just got all my CS meter back in one fight. That's kind of insane. So yeah, if I get another class change ability that pumps it up, and I get another slot potentially, that, that could make the combat a lot more smooth. Because right now I'm able to spam level 1s, which is what I want to do. What? Game, what is this? <laughs> Channel, like, these, <laughs> see, like, I'm getting into the game, channel, and then something like this happens. Hello? You feeling okay there, Trials? Do you wanna... Do you wanna let me hit them? No? Are they are they just invincible, chat? The most powerful harpies known to man? They wanna kiss, apparently. Oh, okay. Okay, I wasn't past the magical spot where they it would acknowledge me as a human being. Got it. 
So yeah, I was at 170 meter. I ended at 143. So yeah, this kind of leads to a somewhat fun cycle for me where I just one shot with class skills over and over. Which is what I want to do. Okay. So I was at 130, I end at 120. So now we have a more enjoyable play cycle where I'm taking advantage of more of the systems. So even though I have no armor, it matters not. Although this fight looks actually kind of annoying. Double armor looks like a pain. Can I just choose to ignore this? I don't think I'm going to take this fight. Well, that for a silver item seed. I don't think that was worth it. Interesting, when I left combat, it left CS on the floor that I could still pick up later if I retried the combat. As long as I have roughly 100%, we should be good there. Getting lots of silver item seeds, which isn't bad. But still no little cactus. Hmm. Maybe I'll come back here when I get the tracker, just to make sure. <gasps> Unless they're like at the end of the cutscene area. I actually forget what the damage type of the- because I think we fight a boss on the back of this creature at some point. <laughs> Please step back. I can handle this. Hopefully not literally right now. Oh, I see. You are a girl dragon, are you not? Our mistake. I shall give you a cute name as an apology. How do you like Flammy? <laughs> Lovely. Blammy it is. I am sorry to ask, but we are short on time. Would you please take us to the portal in the sky above Oblivile? I was going to make a comment. Their hair is so stiff in this universe. Like, the fairy is flapping her wings. That hair doesn't move at all, Chad. That is, like, congealed hair on her back. What we gain is a new ability. Base MP increased by 20. So it looks like there's a lot more mage abilities to make mages less terrible. So if nothing else, I'm kind of curious how it would feel playing a mage. So they really want to make sure if you have Charlotte, for example, you give her lots of healing. Or if you have Angela, you spam spells all day long. Or possibly MP for the Ninja Master. I don't think Kevin Duran or pretty much anybody else really cares about MP. Reese barely uses any MP. When her moves cost like three to four and there's MP jars along the way and there's gold statues, I don't think I really need MP cost down at this point in the game. Unless something crazy gets unlocked. before us they must have fought destroyed each other hmm I'm also contemplating when we do the dungeon revisit should I do the same order as last time or just pick randomly I suppose we'll find out eventually someone is going to steal the mana sword right from under us hurry gotta find the sword get the sword so I am stronger than the king. Wow, it's a sanctuary of mana. Look at all the dead people. <laughs> Believe it. 
I mean, it had that kind of tone to it. Elemental bracelet. That's new. Miracle cookie. More bracelets. Hee <laughs> hee, they died in combat! So lots of stat ups. I guess if I'm not going to do a new game plus, I should probably use these. You know what, Chan? I don't think I want a new game plus because I have a suspicion it will carry over all of our items which will break the game. So I think I'm just gonna do this now. Wait, can I not just consume it right now? Really? I can't just use it here? Alright, well, whatever. Let's do this. I will try to cookie before a real boss fight at some point. I could save the mythic cookies for something else. Some coins. Don't really care about those. We do have some hand axes. Why are we allowed to use this from this menu? What a great question, Parameter. That's something I would love to ask the lead designer. Why you would give me this menu and you don't allow me to use it with any button. <laughs> what a great question, Parameter. Because <laughs> I'm like, I, I would think in any RPG, if you go into the item menu and you select an item, that you could use it. But foolish me, I clearly have to equip it on the ring first. Because I do not see any other ability to do this. Nor do I see the ability to consume it once it's on the ring menu here. That would just make too much sense. Um... I guess I will... Make her increase her own MP. Make you increase your own MP. Oh, it also restores MP. Oh, I wish I knew that before I used it. Oh, well. So, future reference, I could use that as a free fairy walnut. Should work. Uh, I probably want to increase Here. the AI's HP a little more than mine. Should work. Luck up for the other character. Int to maybe him as well. Strength up purely on this character, or stamina on this character. Ah. We've now officially used everything. Let's take this opportunity to put the dream read somewhere. Get the cookies. Oops, the wishes needs to be reassigned. I still have eight fairy walnuts. Um... I have one call equipped. I think what I want to do for the sake of grouping these together, can I do something like this instead? And then instead of Poto Oil, I can do... Make Ally Weapon Absorb HP. That sounds like a fun ability. We definitely want Boost Attack. Silencing enemies is actually very powerful for later in the game. I want to save that for later. He's sending me magic and defense. Um, I could just arbitrarily put a claw weapon at the bottom. So Hawkeye basically has no skills I'm interested in, I think, looking at this. I don't really want to teach him passive skills. And I don't think I care about stamina on him at all. I could rank up his strength slightly so that he's a bit more useful. But I might just hoard his points for now. He's probably the character I want to instant max whatever his next stat cap is. And I don't know if I need more intellect on her or not. I think I might save for some spirit so that way she could get other abilities. So I have enough money I could reset their skills later if I wanted to, but I would prefer not to, given that we're not that far from leveling. Alright, so we got a couple paths to go. 
Uh, let's get into a fight here. It is unwise to get in our way. Oops, I got attacked slightly. I'm a force to be reckoned with. Nice, leveled Hawkeye. Oh, delayed it slightly too much. So as long as I keep getting 100% back, it means I could basically just level one strike over and over and over. Which I think it's fine. I think I enjoy that. Free candy. Hmm. I don't have enough meter to see us again, but our ally does. This is my fight. No need to trouble yourself. Okay, leave it. Oops. Just trying to make sure I get that 100% meter. There we go. A difference. Interesting they went up two training points. Hmm. Should work. That might make it safer to get strength up then. So I do like that the training points seem to have scaled a little more, so level ups are more impactful. I, I like that as a change. Um I don't think it's every level, but it does look like some of them. Okay, game. Seriously? Why can I not why can I not walk across here? What is what is the in-game reason I can't jump this? Like, excuse me? It's not like I can't go over there. The other means. I'm so confused. Minimap be damned. Hmm. Ooh, you could kind of jump from kind of high up here. I wonder if you could do some glitchiness here. What is going on with his attack there? Oh, he's falling. I just can't see because of the platform. Wait, what? What is going on? Is he doing like a dash attack when I'm jumping? What? Oh, that has to be a glitch. What? What is this? Why is he doing a slide attack in the air? See, that's what he normally kicks like, right? That little swipe. When he falls down here, he does a low kick. What? Oh, that, that feels like there's some glitch involved with that. I wonder with that if I could go out of bounds. Because that makes me go really far forward. So that would mean that if I'm able to go up and do that from a slope angle downwards, I really wonder if I can clip out of bounds with that. Because that is way more effective than my normal strike. Does that work on like everything if I fall off of it? Or only on slopes? Now I'm just really curious. <laughs> we'll test out the different paths. I want to go different ways regardless. Ooh, I didn't build that much meter back up. Double XP bonus is kind of huge there. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Awkward day-night shift killed my momentum. Thank you, game. Appreciate that. So badly want to clip out of bounds here, Chad. You have no idea. There's like multiple high areas and low areas all next to each other. That is like begging to go out of bounds. 
Okay, I don't think I want to take this fight. Robots are not worth it if I don't have CS. Yeah, that was a nice CS build. <sighs> it just feels like I'm so close, chat. Like, there's some weirdness where, like, if I just roll the stick the right way, he'll just click where he's not meant to go. Like, this right here, I feel like this is, like, this is the spot to clip out of bounds. But I, I can't seem to do it. It makes me want to look up to see if people clipped out of bounds here. It really makes me want to look it up. I'll come back. Maybe I'll make another save just to test this area. I don't want to spend the whole stream trying to clip out of bounds. Even though I want to, deep in my heart. I enjoy that more than most other aspects of games. Oh. I actually... Wait, what? Let us work together. Wait, what? Wait, he attacked me when I was not in combat? What? He's allowed to do that? That's... Wow, that's really cheap, actually. I feel like that has to be a bug. He should not have had an attack ability. Hmm... Case in point. It's acting a little weird there. New path has appeared. Hmm. I just get a little height. I could probably skip this section. It's like, this is a good height, but it's just not close enough. I wonder... Oh, you can't do that in this game. Okay. I can't do what you could do in East where you can extra strike to get more height. Ooh, I don't like that I only hit one of them there. That was not a good CS. badly want to clip chat. I'll still try it as we make progress through the dungeon. So there's a, p a place to the left I could go. Can I do it from like the stairs out of curiosity? Stairs are also like the number one way to break the game by jumping to places you're not supposed to be able to go. But it seems like they put an invisible wall just high enough to spite me. Take that. Hey, what's the point of this area? What is this invisible wall? Whoa. <laughs> I'm like rubbing against it. Holy. So, do you just have a path up here and nothing to do about that small item? That's it? Hmm. I meant to dodge roll there. I forgot how committal attacks are in this game. Thanks, ally. I appreciate you dying randomly. Surprised we pulled that one off. Hmm. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Seriously, it didn't kill him? That's unfortunate. 
Oh well, I tried. Okay, leave it to me. Last words. Dodge this. Okay, almost leveled again. Yeah, I think with the class stri strike chaining, I'm able to get like a lot of fast combat. So now it feels a little better because before combat used to be really tedious. Enemies kind of took a while to die. But now it's like with this new CS generation, it is making combat way faster. Hmm. I'm wondering if in the meantime. Oh, I still had that on. Oops. I thought she had uh, the other ability on. Yeah, let's put that on her for now. So two golden statues. I'm not close to leveling. I need five more levels. Yeah, plus we don't have the unknown seeds. I Why is it telling us this, by the way? Oh, because it's a special mana statue. Never mind. Yeah, we're not going to worry about that. I don't have any seeds. This looks infinitely more tolerable than the SNES version, says Eldritch. It's not bad. I, I think there's some shortcomings with the AI that make the game... They, they basically define the game difficulty. I don't think the game is very hard by itself. It's definitely much easier than SNES. I'm contemplating if I were to play again, if I want to pump it up uh, on higher difficulty. Hopefully we're doing well, Eldritch. So yeah, there's like some really good changes where menus don't take forever. Some menus are still awkward for some reason. I like the concept of being able to assign points as you see fit and get little stat points along the way. So level ups feel better in this game. Okay, on it. And I like that you could kind of customize your uh, passives as you go through. You're trying. Well, hopefully things improve for you, Eldritch. Coming into Easter. Sorry, Rabbi. Yeah, there is like an auto lock button, but I'd prefer not to auto lock most of the time. Or lock on. It is useful in some abilities. Uh, there's, there's definitely more reward too. I, I think in terms of like trying to be somewhat faithful to the dungeons, but making them more interesting. I think they do a decent job at it. Because before, like, there were, like, literally zero treasure chests before, like, the halfway point in the game. So there was literally no point to exploring at all, because there was never a treasure chest. Now there's a lot of small minor items as you go through, but some major items as you play. Also, I just realized I never checked what one of the items did we got earlier. Speaking of which... So do more elemental bursts. It's cancelled out freezing burning. Uh, let's do that because it cancels more. Yeah, let's get rid of poison shrink. Wait, was there a character that still didn't have an item equipped? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I will say though, I have not felt a need to get armor at all in this game. We have not bought armor since the beginning of the game. And even then, I'm not entirely convinced I got more than like a two point upgrade total. So we're, we're just winging it as we go through. I'm attempting and not able to find ability to clip out of bounds. What are we doing in terms of treasure chests? There are none here. Hmm, bit disappointing, actually. I'll take these, though. Hmm. Oh? What was that? <laughs> I was like an infinite falling for a second. Wait a minute. Aw, oh, it doesn't quite clip me out of bounds. It's like close. I can almost get in the infinite fall here. Oh well. 
You win for now, Trials. This is my no need to trouble yourself. Oh, I actually stunned him. I was not expecting that. Ooh, I walked into that. Ooh, that camera angle though. If I do say so myself. That almost leveled me. <laughs> Hello. Camera camera loves camera loves getting really close to the rocks there. Oh, if only I could clip out of bounds there, that would have been amazing. Oh well. So we're basically at the plot. I guess I should Andy myself. I don't think there's a boss fight here. What's that? But anyway, let's go get the sword. It. You have to feel the connection to the sword in your heart. The shadow of the goddess of mana kevin true wielder of my sword goddess of mana where's fairy fairy was taken prisoner by the forces of evil what please you must go to her uh, evil where is fairy Goddess of Mana grants wishes once I get this sword, right? What is going on? Mana has all but disappeared from the world. Soon, the mana tree will wither and die, and I will be no more. There is nothing more that I can do for you all, except leave you with this. Chosen of the Mana Sword, as well as your companions. May the blessings of Mana be with you always. No! Wait! Drum acquired. So now we should be able to use the dragon to go to and from different areas. Find fairy. 
I love that even in this game, they they don't seem to go into a lot of detail with it. The SNES one, she just she just goes away. We just let bad things happen. This game's not too different. Let's see, he's at 19 points. That's kind of silly. But I really don't have a reason to pump anything unless I just want his strength to go up. Which, to be fair, does help with damage a little bit. But I really just want to hit 38 and then just max him. Very stay safe. I think I'm going to hit the delete button here. Now that damage is pretty good, despite her not having strength up. Oh yeah, that reminds me, I think I saw something in the options the other day. I'm gonna see what it's like turning off the initial animation. I'm assuming I still do like the normal strikes, and that's fine. But I just want to make sure that zoom in before they do it. I think, uh, I think I've seen enough to zoom in for now. I'll gladly pop that for more CS. The class strike. Yeah, that's much smoother. I like that more. Oh, and realize he was going to keep attacking there. That was awkward. Bonk. Hmm. Oops. Did not want to get hit there, actually. There's sometimes I don't mind getting hit, but that was definitely an accident. Hmm. Hello, Day-Night Cycle. Yeah, Day-Night Cycle is definitely one of the things that I think they kind of failed hard on. It's very awkward in this game compared to SNES. Like, there's a lot of big quality of life changes. That is not one of them. That is definitely a downgrade. Randomly stopping your movement and locking you in place is kind of awkward. I think they're trying to do that to, like, despawn um, NPCs because they have more dynamic villager movements, but I feel like they could have gotten away with a... Uh, a cleaner movement without having that feel of like it's it's a horrible night to have a curse interrupt my movement every couple steps oh i realized another one was still alive so we basically caught up in levels because it's now easy to just kind of insta kill them oh just the Crimson Knight is just there, cool. Or Crimson Mage, I mean. I have lost. The enemy invaded our stronghold in Dragon's Maw unopposed. Our leader, Dragon Lord, is no more. This is the end. The wizard was no match for his foes. <laughs> I too will disappear. The Dragon Lord's dark magic was all that sustained me. An already departed soul. <laughs> Wait! What foes? Who took Fairy? Tell me! And away they go. To be seen in another playthrough. Yeah, he's just sleeping. He just he's just going to the farm upstate. <laughs> he he's permanently retired. Yeah, he he did not want to tell us about fairy for sure. So we're still a couple levels under leveled, but I think with me actually participating in more combat, I've caught up a little bit. No. Bad game. Well, I'm just gonna go back and immediately heal. 
So the reason I do want to catch up in levels a little more, we hit that kind of awkward level problem where I think I was supposed to have class upgrade prior to fighting, uh... I was gonna call them Bill and Ted. I will keep calling them Bill and Ted. I forget their name every time. But the twin ninjas, Bill and Ben, I think, um... We're definitely a big difficulty spike, and it felt like I did, wasn't doing a lot of damage. I think some of that had to do with the fact that it, it it expected me to have been able to train up my abilities higher than the normal cap. Because it, it does seem like classes are a much bigger impact in the game than before. Because honestly, like when we got the second class upgrade in the SNES version, it it had no impact on gameplay at all. My stats didn't go up. No, none of the none of the meaningful stats went up. And, uh, yeah, I didn't get any new abilities before beating the game. But this time around, I think I'll be able to do so. Oh, come on. I really missed them by one swing. Stupid allies not attacking. See, so, yeah, I should be able to level off of this. And his level 1 class strike is pretty powerful. It's enabled me to basically just loop enemies. So it seems like we've had a somewhat useful strategy. Make no mistake. And this should level me. Or level Hawkeye, I mean. So now that all the troops are no longer fighting, we don't fight the werewolves, so we fight the much easier rabbites, which are still worth a lot of XP. Okay, I did stun him in time, good. So I'm going to take the much easier combat here. Oh, there's Belladonna. Maybe if I enjoy hard mode a bit more, I will consider completing all the story paths in the remake. But for now, I'm, I might just target two. Belladonna, did you take fairy? It is over. All of it. Now his dark majesty can never be revived. Huh. The voice acting sometimes leaves master, much to be desired. His dark Majesty sacrificed his life by using a forbidden spell to bring the Dark Stone from Mabolia to this realm in order to gain access to the sanctuary. Using the Sword of Mana, we would then revive him. Together, we would turn this world into our new homeland of Mabolia. But. A new enemy came and destroyed my master's corpse. Now, his soul is trapped forever in darkness, lost to us, just like the mana sword. We were utterly defeated. <sighs> Malokio thought we might still be able to obtain the sword ourselves in order to bring Mavolia to this realm. But a world without his dark majesty. I could not bear the thought of that cowardly fool. Malokia's pettiness was an insult to his dark majesty's memory. So I destroyed him with my own hands. Don't worry. I intend to follow soon. Chat misses needs haircut, that's true. I banished that royal brat from Laurent back to the Citadel. He was meant to serve as his Dark Majesty's vessel once revived. Way to ruin the other plotline. Elliot, is he safe? There is no need to harm him. Not anymore. His Dark Majesty was the reason for my existence. And this is farewell. I guess Seiko's murder was avenged in the end. We can't rest yet. If we don't take care of that enemy Belladonna mentioned, I'll be facing more senseless deaths. Just like Eagles. It is kind of awkward that I didn't make one of those two. Maybe out of the picture. But I'm still with you for the rest of this journey. <laughs> Ego wouldn't forgive me if I bowed out now. So I'll make him proud. The main protagonist. My father's attacker may have been vanquished, and my brother safe and sound. But I cannot ignore my duty to you all. 
I will continue this journey. I will stay until peace in the land has been secured. Let us be off. We cannot delay. There we go. Okay, so I guess we just go to leave. Unless I feel like getting another free kill. Nah, we're at like 46,000 money. That's more than I need. I think to get the final weapons, it costs like 22,000 each time. Welcome, Chris. <laughs> now, now the true antagonist is revealed for our path. So let's see what this story is all about. Little guide back. You must come to Parolia Palace. His Majesty is awaiting you and your companions. What? No! Stop! Oh, too late! Ah! Oh no. Everyone was probably waiting for you to get the sword for them. That's why they took Fairy hostage. <laughs> Love the glowing what box for the do? seeds. This is definitely a trap. Oof, that line read. I know, but I have to go. Have to rescue Fairy. Trap or not, cannot abandon her. King is in Ferolia Palace too. I won't run. We'll defeat Gormund and King, and get back Fairy. Won't lose. Like, they show you that he's not the only one going after the sword. I mean, everybody's going after the sword. It's not any different than the SNES version. If that's what you mean. This is different, though. Imp's ring attained. Yeah. I, see, I kind of view it as the inverse. Like, they spent all this time building up the other villains, and they're like, Alas, my plan is foiled. It happened off screen. It was a really epic battle. It's a shame you weren't there to see it. Oh, and about your brother, I guess he's back home now. Because... Farewell. <laughs> like, I mean, that I, I feel like that's sadly not an exaggeration of what just happened. Anyway, um, I guess we should change what's here. Again, that's the same in the SNES, but that doesn't mean I liked it there either. So I'm gonna get rid of the fairy flute, which we used for like one section of the game. Let's go use the drum. Okay, how is movement with the dragon? Uh, oh. Chat, I have another question. Why was dash disabled by default? So, for those that haven't seen it before, we basically need to revisit everywhere in just a little bit. I guess this is highlighting all the points I can go down at. So if I want to revisit some places, that's fine. I do love that there's the super evil Death Fortress, which I don't think we really have to go to anymore if I understood what happens in the game normally, since certain things will change depending on who's there or not there. Yeah, like, we weren't over here at the Crystal Desert at all, for example. So there should be somewhat unique areas to go to to make it a bit easier to go to. Also, let's go revisit the town. Since I want to see what kind of things they upgraded in the Night Merchant area. Because that was my other big complaint about the SNES. It just kind of stopped after a while. Ooh. Is it day or night? It's looking kind of in between. Apparently still night. That's all that matters. Welcome. Come again. 
Oops. Well, lots of wares to browse. Uh, I should probably grab Poto Oil now. Do come again. We're gonna save that for a hard boss fight. <laughs> come again. Having an AoE heal, slash another healing option in general, could help with some of the harder fights. Well, lots of wares to browse. Again. Okay, so we seem to be able to buy the HP absorbs now, which I don't think were a thing before. Come again. I don't think I care about MP absorb. Let's get the elemental claws, which we couldn't get before. Come again. We have pretty good coverage now compared to the first time we played the game. I have three dispels in case we find a boss fight is kind of annoying. Yeah, I think all of these down here, we were not able to get in the original, if I remember correctly. Or if they were, they I never noticed they unlocked. Let's see, don't need to do anything with them. Let's do this. Oh, can I really not skip this animation? I like how they show us the dragon, but like we're not on the back of the dragon. It was certainly a choice to showcase. I do think the songs are actually really good. I will give credit to the OST remake. I think it's actually really good. And they keep a lot of the spirit of the themes, which I cannot say for the Secret of Mana remake, which made me actually angry listening to it. So yeah, it looks like we're going to hit level 38 within like two boss fights or so, which is much, much, much earlier than in the SNES version. Which kind of goes to show how much of an impact that double XP had. Ooh, we have all the treasure chests to find here. Well, there's one. Can't jump over that. So now we're almost the level to get a class upgrade. In terms of enemy fights, we're like one level under. Hmm. Dangerous. So a class strike is pretty much just an auto kill at this point, which is good. Sorry about that. Get rid of him real quick. Such weak targets, but... So that's another fence I can't really get through. I guess I have to come back down later to get that. There's a shiny up there I can't reach. Hmm. Allow me. Okay. Allow me. Okay. Let's use this ability. Take down the enemy. I mean, I think we could agree that that was just brutal damage. Than ever. And that should level me. Wow, and I could get CS gauge from this? Oh, that's sick. Okay, so now I'm at a point where I could take advantage of some things. I'm going to do a couple attacks into this, just to get the kill. Goodbye. Okay. I was trying to get used to the cycle of characters. I think I'm slowly learning. Yeah, this dungeon is very easy with how many jars they give me. Ooh, I don't have a CS gauge. That's actually a problem. Oh, he hit me backwards with the power swing. That's unfortunate. Nice multi-kill. 
take to pick on such weak targets. Okay, leave it to me. <laughs> I hate to pick on such weak. Okay. <laughs> Love interrupting his own speech. Yeah, so now that I have that uh, set up with uh, Evan going, I basically have like near limited CS. So I'm very curious what it'll turn into once I have more synergies. We should work together to defeat the threat. And he should get the kill here because that gives more meter. Build an item seed, nice. More chocolates. So I could go to the path that it wants me to go to, but as chat knows, I don't like doing what I'm told with games. So we're gonna ignore that. Uh, let's go this way for the item. If they ambush me, I should be good. I should be able to one-shot this encounter, so I'm going to. Now I have enough for a level one for him, and he can build meter for the rest of the team. So I could go back through the door. Or just end up at full health again. Like, if you were watching this, would you have would you have assumed that I'm still in the basic armor of the game? Like, I, I definitely feel like the very beginning of the game difficulty was much higher than where we're at here. I mean, I'm literally walking around one-shotting. I take like maybe a fifth of my health with the beginning armor of the game. So I mean like just just to let you know, the beginning of the game did not feel 100% balanced. And I think some of that had to do with the class difference. But at the same time, it's like these enemies literally can't do anything if I have CS now. Ooh. I did not rotate that properly to hit all of them. That was a misplay. I might get punished here. We'll see. Hello, camera. We should continue on our journey as planned. Yeah, don't need anything there. Uh, I could try going up the stairs that are over here, just to check for items. We should work together to defeat this threat. There we go. That's a nice triple hit. Goodbye. I'm a force to be See, like, I used to see us there, Chad, and I already have it back again. Like, that to me is very silly. I think we could all agree. Like, I'm getting... Basically, if there's at least four enemies, I'm getting CS back, guaranteed. And I could do some minor hits just to fill it up if I'm not there. That's a lot of money. That is actually, like, a very good amount of money for us. That was basically adding 10% to our cash total. Maybe a little more, given that we just spent at the night market. Um... Ooh, it kind of snapped to the wrong target there. That's unfortunate. I kind of wanted to aim in between, so that way I could benefit from multiple strikes there. One of the plus side, I got the class strike back again. Just so chat can see, I'm back up to 140%. Getting stronger. I don't even need the healing statue. I kind of feel bad for the game right now. <laughs> right, chat? I'm just like, oops. So I need three more levels. The question is, is this immediately a boss battle or not? Because I want to pop a cookie. So I guess I could pop one now. Oh, wait, I can't do it that way because that would make too much sense. Uh, Let's do it here. So no matter where I go here, it equals plot. Okay. I mean, if I don't get it in a boss battle, I don't think it super matters. There we go. Perfect triple hit. That's exactly what I wanted. To so get an easy kill here. Easy kill here. Rebuild. I'm at 100 meter again. Gotta get this nuisance out of the way before we can go. 
I clicked a little bit there. But honestly, we're doing so much damage, it doesn't matter. Plus, I'm about to level if I fight again. Oh, I'm not allowed to open this door anymore. That's a double kill. So I don't quite have 100%, but I will level off of this. So I have way more HP than the SNES version, comparatively, at the same point. Go out here. Okay, leave it to me. You wish you'd never Not crossed this. paths with us. <laughs> Swallow throw. <laughs> Train on me. On it. Like I think we could agree, chat. Like that was that was actually unfair. I felt bad for them. That was the the nope. There is no next turn. 24 money? Oh, come on. You can do better than that, please. You can't give me a chest that gives me like 5,000 and then 24 is from the other random thing. Sad. Alright, so I don't have a lot of CS for a boss fight, which could put me at a disadvantage here. But I think I have enough general items that I don't know if it really matters, to be honest, even if I get into a boss fight here. So I feel like we're gradually going towards the throne room. So there's the wall we busted through before we got slapped by father. Uh, game. This is my fight. No need to trouble yourself. Oh, I got clipped there. Okay, I just wanted CS mostly. Doubled XP. Doubling XP saves me a little bit of time. Let's see. Okay, there is a chest over here. Cyclone Claw. Oh, did I get an upgrade? Look at that, chat. How unfair. <laughs> I didn't I purposely didn't buy the best upgrade. Get it right before the boss battle. Shake your head, chat. Not punished even slightly. Here. You certainly took your time. Yeah, we didn't quite pet the dog. Save your companion. Hand over the sword of mana. You call yourself king? Animal! Pitiful. I have no time to play with pups. Do what you will. Stop! Face me! I'm not gonna lie, the thing he had over his shoulders. Once we have the sword, the beast men are unnecessary. Do what you will, sire. It looked like more hair from him. Ah, what a simpleton. To think that the king has no interest in this fantastic sword. If you wish to save Fairy, give me the sword like good children. But don't make any sudden movements or I'll eat her. Wait, who's the figure in the background? This is it. The sword of mana is ours. Stop! What? can't use the sword need a pure heart sword chose me it's mine the sword of mana reflects the heart of its wielder a sword of good can be corrupted Evil and good are two parts of the same whole. Indeed, was this sword even meant to be good in the first place? Ah, oh, its name is Tainted Soul, of course. I once followed his eminence, Wendell's Priest of Light. 
He could not save the world with all his goodness. The world is still dark, still painful, still full of hate. Existence is the same thing as suffering. Our master, the Masked Mage, will use the Sword of Mana to release the world from the suffering of life. Through death itself. Oh, this is the person that Charlotte was looking for, I think. Yes! Oh, joyous day! Now the Mana Sword belongs to the Master of the Rod! <laughs> no! We cannot waste any more time here. We must release the Benevodons from the Mana Stones with the Sword of Mana. I will return first and report to the Masked Mage. They love that little teleport. <laughs> Soon, the Benevodons will destroy the people of this world. <laughs> oh. The souls I shall consume. <laughs> My mouth is already watering. <sighs> I must save some room in my stomach, so I will refrain from devouring you three. Yet. I mean, you should just fight us. Farewell for now. <laughs> Goodbye, random, random erratic movement, Jester. I am so sorry. You lost the sword because of me. Fairy, you okay? Don't say that. Not your fault. Besides, they stole the sword. They are releasing Benevodons. What, what should we do? Phrasing fairy. Close your eyes. Well, we're now at the I hope you like revisits. Time to go back to all the equivalency of the monostones, only this time with real boss fights. I missed a treasure chest. Oh well. <laughs> right, Chad? Oh well. I've also noticed in this game, for the most part, I've never had a real reason to bother with magic rope. This might be like the first time, I think, since I played where I was like, I'd probably save a bit of time magic roping, but I am looking for something at the same time. So because there's no fight here, I might as well just kill these enemies. Good for these guys. Oh. Well, I found the chest. How do I get to it? Um. I need to come from the outside somehow? Uh. I'm trying to read the minimap. I do this. Oh, I still can't jump down there. Um, maybe this is what it wants me to do. Okay, I found out. Again, I'm able. To, I'm able to open that chest from like a billion feet away, Chad. Like that's that to me is insane. So no upgrade there. 
Oh, this one's just roll defense. <laughs> I don't care about that at all, right, chat? De defense hasn't mattered to me yet. Why would I get something that's pure defense? So I feel it's kind of like the game started off like a little difficult. And again, that was mostly due to the AI. But now at the point we're at, I feel the difficulty has mostly fallen off. Okay, since I, I found what I'm looking for, why don't we get rid of that? Oh, and it, the one time I want to use magic rope, it doesn't do anything. I feel like that needs like a laugh track chat. Like the one time I actually want to go use it. So sad. Um. Wait, what? What door does it want me to take? Oh, does it actually want me to take the one that was down there? Thank you, Chris, for resubscribing. Hopefully you're doing well. All right, there we go. No, that's not the door it wants me to take either. I'm a little confused. I wish I could move the mini-map a little bit. There's a lot of doors all near each other on different heights. Which one is this one? Oh, you mean... Oh, okay. Now I see what door they're talking about. They wanted me to go to this one. Cool. Oops. Gotta go around the corner. Actually, hold on a second. I'm gonna turn... I'm, oh, no, 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 no. Game, game, game. I'm gonna try one thing. What if I do this? Okay. No glitches there. Well, I think at this point, if this opened up, I'd like to go this way. Um, this should be fine. Nice triple hit. So I just gotta build a hundred meter, which is not that hard to do. I get ten percent per kill. Case in point. Until next time. Hawkeye is almost leveled again. We got another couple wishes, which is nice. Anything in here I feel like refighting? Not really. Uh actually I think I need to go this way. Take down the enemy! Defenseless! Get a little more meter. Watch your footing! Oh, healing spells are so much slower in this game. Thank you for that. Hawkeye is now caught up in levels. How do I leave? Oh, do I just jump through over this? No. You're not gonna let me. Sh you're not gonna let me. Sh I was just gonna say you're not gonna let me shortcut jump out of here. I don't feel like finding what door I took last time. Okay. So I guess we'll play pick a path. What dungeon do I want to go to first? I can't believe we're at 600 HP. Unlike any character. That to me is insane. We we beat the other game, I think, at like 500 health total as a reminder. I don't even think every character was above 500 when we did that. Only Durin was, I think. Goramond. Evil. Won't let him get away. This is hard to bear. But we cannot let the Benevidons combine their powers. Let us focus on defeating them. So let's see, chat. We could go for the tower boss. We could go to Mulbear Hills. Frostbite. Go for whatever the forest creature thing was again. Hmm. Maybe I just kind of go clockwise. Starting with where we're at currently, just to mix things up a little. I think last time we did like counterclockwise, and I ended up doing the tower last, if I remember correctly. So I could just go here, I guess. Lots of easy CS. Welcome, Kirk. 
I'm pretty close to leveling. We should play as her to just nuke an enemy real quick. The tower was like the hardest one in the SNES. One of the Benevidons in this tower. Monsters tend to come out more at night. Be careful. Ooh, it didn't one shot anymore. Leave it to me. Ooh, he builds meter pretty quickly. Hmm. Ultra chest? Oh, it's not. So probably after this Benevidon, we'll get our class strike upgrade. We were here before, so that tells me, you know, we don't have to worry about anything quite yet. I'm mostly just looking for chests before we continue upwards. So possibly further up in the tower, we'll get something of interest. How many chests are there? Four. Okay. This is my Ooh, I don't like that the game just burned my CS there. That's a bit unfortunate, actually. So this is the way forward, just looking for chests. XP bonus is going to expire, but that's fine. We have another cookie if I really need it. I just want to make sure that we hit 38 by the time we're done here so we can enjoy the class change, maybe. So I will take a, a few fights here. And again, that ability to just knock them ga down guaranteed is just so big. And then we can play as her to get her ability. Now I'm one level away from hitting the upgrade. So as long as I can keep rotating through CS like this, it makes combat a lot easier for sure. So definitely a good adjustment on my side to recognize that there's something wrong with the combat. And decide it wasn't worth holding points. <laughs> Oh, there's a back attack. That sucks. Ouch. Okay, got rid of that. He can lead the attack next time. Okay. On it. Allow me. Dangerous. Kill both of them. Save some meter. What a little disoriented where some items were. Oh no, does that mean I can fall all the way down there if I do that? It does. Okay, that's kind of horrific. Interesting. So again, every time I pop CS, it seems to give everybody CS now, which is a pretty useful ability. Goodbye, Silver Wolf. So I don't... I think I missed a treasure chest over there. Alright, so I don't think I want to fight another fight yet. I'll take a free candy. Then we'll go up here. See, our goal is to hit 38 off of this boss battle. Hitting 30 before then I don't think matters, since I can't class upgrade unless I want to go backwards. Which, to be honest, I really, really don't want to. So I'm just going to double check there's nothing behind the doors here if we're wondering why I'm going backwards every now and then. Just to make sure it wasn't like a camera angle trick and I miss a chest. Watch out for 
Oh, that was a great triple strike. Suddenly build a ton of meter. And I basically ended up with more meter than I started. All got leveled, nice. Goodbye. The area is clear of threats. We have earned a rest. Hmm. As if... I guess there really aren't that many chests or golden things, sadly. So we're on floor number three. It's possible there's chests not until like the highest level. I'd really prefer not to fall down if we can avoid it. Oh, we should work together to defeat this threat. Alright, so that should deal with both of them pretty well. Speaking of which. Now I can rebuild my meter, everybody's at a good total. Really prefer not to fall down here. Dolan's ring? What is that? Is it just another defense ring? Half's moon damage? Um... That's probably relevant for this fight. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Did I get any Dryad items? Because technically this is the... I think that's what would be the counter to this area. I don't think I did, right? So I have Assassin Eye, which would technically work, I think, on the boss. Mm, no, I don't think so. I got Light and Dark. But I think this will be Moon. Which I think is different. <laughs> it always confused me between Lumina and the other ones, which is like the true weakness. I think Dryad is the counter. I think Mirage Place might count as Light Magic, maybe? I mean, I could always bring in another buff if I'm not sure. Why do I have gold item seed equipped? So I could bring in uh, dark here because I know that it wouldn't be this. So it'd either be dark or wood. In either way, I don't think it really matters. Uh, let's activate a level three here, actually. We should work together to defeat this Ooh, big damage. Need to defeat the Benevadon of the Moon. I see. We must continue our climb. Yeah, I don't think I have wood for it. I mean, I could, uh, um, but I could do. I could get just a generically the absorb HP. That might be more useful for me, honestly. Still start damage chance of instantly destroying lower leveled enemies. Eh. Sassanai, I don't know if I'll bother using. Should work. Let's heal our allies up a little bit. Okay, leave it to me. Dodge this. Take down the enemy. Oops, I did not mean to swap it there. Ooh, she activated her ability. That's what I wanted her to do. Good. So I'm going to hit 38 guaranteed now before the boss. So I probably want to take one more fight just to level. There's another chest. Oh. I definitely want to break its guard. Run. 
And I comboed it before it could do anything there, so that was worth it. So that means I will... Oh, that's true. I don't even have the unknown seeds. Actually, wait a minute. I can't do anything about this. I still don't have those. That's kind of annoying, actually. I forgot. That's fine, though. So we still need to find it at some point. I think I'm doing a pretty good job of finding the chests. So at this point, I think it's down to item seed RNG. Oh, I wanted one free poke before this. Oh well. So again, every time he CSs, it builds their meter. So at least we're kind of going through this quickly. Also, notice our allies are were basically at like 100% MP. Yeah, I'm glad I got rid of that MP down. That was definitely a waste. Okay, so it could go this way. We still have three more floors to go. Final floor is definitely the boss. Um... I just eat a regular cookie, because where else am I going to use it? Nice. Hit more than one. I somehow ended with more meter than I started. Always interesting. Probably want to use his first. But bringing it back was a mistake, probably. Let's go with this. Goodbye encounter. Oh, that would have been the time to double the XP there. That felt pretty convincing damage-wise. So I don't quite have a class strike, but only one hit will pretty much guarantee it for me. I'll eat a single candy because we get enough of those. I was mashing the class strike. There we go. So you're done. Alright, okay. so now I ended at more meter than I started, and other people now have their meter. That's all I want, Chad. We want a constant string of class strikes, and we're good. Ooh, this feels more final in terms of areas. So I should take a look around here. Gotta get this nuisance out of the way before we can go. If I get if I steal the kill with this character, it builds a lot of meter. Nice. Hawkeye level. So everybody's just waiting their class item now. I'm missing a treasure chest, but we still have more to go. So it could be something in one of the other rooms, speaking of which. Now you can't cast defenseless? A little slow on that one. Oh, I re attained a class seed. Okay, so it looks like some chests are going to give it to us, which is nice. Dangerous! Dodge this! I think I'm gonna save my meter for the boss fight. And anything I could build here just helps for next time. Yeah, that's a lot of meter for our allies. So with the cost down and also me giving cost my 
Uh, spent rice to the other allies. That's kind of nice. Hmm. Okay. So we just went in a big circle. So what, where does it want me to go? Oh, there's like a little path over here. Now I see it. Ew. Oh, their respawn rate is disgusting. Get out of here. Hmm. Is there anything over here? Uh. Uh. Oh, I almost missed it. I was more looking for uh, gold shinies, but we'll take this. There is an achievement for getting 200 treasure chests. I was more looking to see if there was something like on that pillar, but whatever. Uh, I'll go this way then. Horrid creature says chat. Wow, I actually dodged that encounter. That was something. Um, I guess there's nothing else hidden unless there's something like over here. Not really. Ooh, take that encounter. You're not forced on me. Right, chat? No thanks. So we are now hilariously leveled because of uh, chaining class skills. Let's see. Which I will also say, now that we have the XP doubler, fights are more worthwhile. Prior to this point, I don't know. So we still have a cookie, but I doubt I'll beat the boss in five minutes with our team. Because it's going to be another boss where its head is going to be presumably out of range most of the time. So I'm going to try to tell her to defense down. I'm going to try to buff myself. Hang on. I did not think we'd have to face anything this gigantic. <sighs> have to fight. No other option but winning. Oh, that did big damage. Oh, I was trying to special attack through it. I think I hit the wrong button. Oh! Why... Why am I getting the I can't use it noise? I'm doing the single class strike. Can please? This is the one I was trying to use. Oops. Oh. Actually, how do you dodge that? Maybe I have to jump. Maybe jumping clears it? Maybe jumping clears it. Did they honey elixir me? I wasn't that badly damaged. Why is she over here? Oh, because he's stunned. That was annoying. I wanted to combo and she was like nowhere near anything. How irritating. Don't know what she was doing, to be honest. I didn't have enough for another attack. Oops. Okay, so I can jump it. Oh, I thought he was just resetting, not attacking again. Not that. Will you stop this? 
Is one of you really not going to heal me? Seriously? I don't need that much healing. I just need a little bit. I don't think I could have reacted to that faster. Okay. Alright, so I should be able to do big damage here. react to that one. I could do this though. There we go. That boss fight wasn't too bad. It was more like... I think the AI did okay at dodging. I basically was trying to CS to just dodge every move, which was okay. But yeah, sometimes our allies were in very weird positions. And I'm not really sure why they decided to do that. I mean, we saw at one point Reese was literally at like the far end of the arena with the boss is like only at one side. It's not like the boss is moving. Oh man. Yeah. Well, I might as well just recollect the CS jars. So I think I ignored them on the way in, but I don't think it matters simultaneously. Josephine, blah blah blah, give me your items. Ooh. That voice acting. It's painful. Hello, Chiquita. Welcome. You're welcome. Oops. Come again. Well, I have a wide variety of weapons from you to peruse. Damn, you want 12,000 per upgrade? I don't know about that. <laughs> like, chat, look at this. Like, the difference between these is a thousand, but it's only two damage difference. I don't know about that, chat. I don't know. I mean, I could probably buff their damage slightly. But I think I'm actually just going to hold off. Come again. I think we actually did fine damage-wise. And as long as Kevin is here, I don't think I have anything to really worry about. I, I probably missed defense downing a little sooner. After I did it again uh, the first time in between the, the, the other time. Because I was more focusing on dodging the boss than watching some stupid timer which is the thing that I didn't have to think about in the SNES version. So, whatever. So they used... I think a full heal. The rest of this is probably okay. Oh, I can't call Flammy here for some reason. If, the, if you start Cookie Bite with the boss, it continues... If, Regardless if it oh, okay. Yeah. I have to say though, Calvisham, I'm still not entirely feeling this game. I would very much rather play East over this kind of game, for sure. I think the big issue, as I said before, is just the AI. The AI really pisses me off. <laughs> like, when I start to have fun, they're just doing stupid shit and getting hit over and over again. It's kind of like when the boss started doing those slam attacks. Like, they were never going to dodge that. No time to waste. You did it! Oh, and I can see which ones I have it. Oh. So I could see specifically where I've missed a little cactus. Does that mean. I missed one in the holy city of Wendell. Interesting. Oh gosh, they're like emoting really hard. The longer the Badabra dots are left alone, the more powerful they become. Think hard about where the other seven might be. You know what? Since my cookie timer is going, I'm not going to bother listening to them. Kind of an also bad side effect of the game of stacking too many mechanics. So I missed... I missed a little cactus here somewhere. Hmm... I can see chests that I missed. Oh, there's Little Cactus. I guess the first time I was here, I missed it.
Now, the question I have to ask myself, do I just let RNG take hold for the seeds, or do I purposely gather enough of them to force the game to give me unique classes, potentially? Alvisham saying the cactus wasn't here the first time. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's really weird they don't let you use the Mitch ha Hammer to, like, untrink yourself and dodge certain status ailments. I'm kind of sad they took that out of the game. The item is, like, essentially useless, unless I missed something when we were doing something in menus earlier. I don't think it allowed me to do this. Yeah, I can't. Unfortunate. Hmm. I'll go get the chest and then we'll leave. Oh, or apparently not. <laughs> Thou shall not go forward. Thou has missed the chest forever, apparently. Whatever. Um... So I did get at least all the cactus stuff so far. Missed a couple of treasure boxes. There's the Navarro Fortress, which we haven't been able to go back to. So is there any place where we can highlight that I haven't seen a cactus? Other than the frost area. No. Alright, so presumably if we go to the other dungeons, we'll find it. So yeah, I definitely don't want to hear that, like, I didn't kill enemies for seeds. We killed so many enemies for seeds. I'm now level 38. If I do not get at least, like, three seeds when I hand this in, I'm going to be very annoyed. Well, never mind, that's right, we trashed in our stuff earlier. Okay, if I don't get at least one additional seed with the gold seed... Okay, I didn't get anything there. I forgot we, we handed in our 11 earlier. I got literally zero. Cool. Uh... I don't know if it's worth risk using it yet, or just holding on to it. Spirit up. We could give to somebody else. I guess I could give it to Reese. I don't think I need it on this character. Um... I guess I could save and then see what it gives me. I could do the old fashioned save scum. Because I think RNG is stupid and I would like this to give me something useful. Best Marsh should be a thing after every one of the eight bosses. You mean should be a thing or are a thing? Got Destiny dice. I'm just gonna straight up look up what this class is. I'm not messing around with this game right now. So if I really wanted to, I could go to every area and collect eight seeds. That lets me become the nomad. Maybe? Right, you're saying like a prize for beating the boss, but as I said before, Calvisham, there's a difference between should be or are a thing, and I'm asking, are you saying that is a thing or isn't a thing? Because it didn't seem to be a thing. I just want to be very clear. I guess I could tr see if this class is any good. It is very annoying that I potentially have to kind of fly around just to find out. So yeah, this is definitely something I wish they would have changed a bit more than they did. Um, what would be the closest way to level? 
I guess I could go back to the sanctuary. Because the other places will have bosses now. I don't know. If Nomad is okay, I might just go for it. I'm just not sure what the alternative is. Yeah, we just gotta go in a basically straight line. Speaking of straight line. See, unlike the SNES version, it asks me who I'm switching, which I, I think is a good change. Try to switch your class. So, I miss out on the rogue. The rogue has plunder, so they're good at getting items. Voltage adds a random status increase to all allies at the start of battle. Okay. Track the enemy with the rose before attacking with dagger. But that doesn't teach me what the other abilities are like. <sighs> That's such a tough call. Because I think the thing is, like, it is, like, good to see this in a way, but it doesn't teach me, like, what the other abilities are. It's just one of those things. I mean, like, the passive abilities could be good, but I feel like Rogue is more how my play style would be. I'm noticing he gets less attack power here as well. Hmm. I mean, I might as well just do it. You mean you cannot switch classes until all things are oh i got the rogue oh my bad i misread what it was oh okay then yeah that's fine i want to try the rogue so let's see what kind of abilities he gets and then based off of this i might just reset it is kind of sad that he got the upgrade because he's probably the character I don't super care about if he gets the upgrade. So I'm tempted to reset base off of that, but let's go to him. So he's super... Oh, I keep forgetting that that's not how the menu works in that particular menu. I will never get used to that. Trap damage up. I don't know if I care about that. Toxic trap. I think I care about his in. Hmm. Grumpkin looks pretty powerful. Is right now our other move does about one eighty. Like, spikes are doing 180+, plus, so they're doing almost double damage. So this potentially doing 700 damage is kind of huge. And it apparently absorbs MP, so it might pay for itself. Hmm. I mean, I think I just kind of go for that then, right? I don't... I'm not a big fan of the int stuff. I might just skip it. I don't really want him using those abilities. Stamina, I don't think really matters. Strength up could be useful, just so he does more damage. Yeah, I guess I could keep this for now. So let's just immediately unlock all abilities.
Is there anything in spirit he could use that would be useful? Get cost down. Eh. I'd give him... Might just give him strength and just go towards more melee damage. So he has new stats now. Since he now has magical abilities... Well, I don't know if they count as magic or projectiles. Actually, I'll hold off on doing that. Um, that increases one on the high health. It's not super worth it for the allies. Converter... I mean, I could just give him Sturdy as an AI, maybe it would be useful. Make him harder to target as well. Maybe that would benefit. Just able to spam. Okay, leave it to me. So I'm gonna test the damage and then that'll I'll make a decision based off of this. So he has like a super expensive kill move. Right, chat? O okay. Um. That seems really broken. So, him having cost down might actually be relevant. Yeah, that's significantly more than my combos currently. And it's not a very long animation either. <laughs> I might just change it back to Ranger, honestly. Uh. I mean, I'm okay with damage. So I could just force him to spam it. Hmm. The sturdy, maybe I could do something like... Reduce, maybe make him injure himself. And that way it still it benefits from HP boost, so that way he could spam more abilities. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, that damage seemed very dumb. So I guess I'll keep it for now. I kind of want to see what his next class ability is. Let's just use it and see what happens. That is also a lot of damage. How much does just like normal arrow rain do now? Uh -oh. Too bad. I mean, that's one shotting enemies, basically. Axe Bomber also seemed to do a lot of damage. Uh, okay. Well, well, chat, I think we found our main damage dealer. I guess, I guess the old saying, rock falls, everybody dies, is now fairly accurate with this character. I now have the ability to just one-shot every encounter. That seems really broken. So yeah, I have zero regrets, chat, holding on those level up points for him. I have another point I could use. He's maxed out on luck. Do I seriously even want anything here? Trap CS boost. I don't really care if he uses traps. I prefer he doesn't, actually. Um, I don't think I care about Sleep Flower or anything else. I just want him to do damage. I guess I just raise strength, because in case he does use a trap, at least it might do more damage in the future. 
Yeah, what a what a power increase. I think we could say GG. I think the game is solved. Like, our class strikes were not doing more than 500 damage in the other fight, and I can just consistently chuck out, like, 900 damage every second. Well, second and a half with the animation. So I, I think the game is now over. But anyway, I guess we'll go to Molebear Moors or whatever. Which I think is an Earth fight, if I remember correctly. So I should probably bring in Wind. I think. But honestly, with this character, it doesn't even matter what their weakness is. I think their weakness is getting bombed to the face. Oh, and it does wood damage. Oh, that would have been so good for the fight that we just did. Oh, that's so sad, chat. Because I think the other boss would have had a weakness to this. So we have actual elemental damage. Oh! Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to that. We have more than one elemental type in here now. I have light, dark, fire. Light will be useful towards the end of the game. Dark is... We're going to use it, like, in one area. Fire damage could be useful in the ice area. Oh, that's silly. So if I just do like this, how much does this do? Eh, that didn't do that much. Now if I do the hand axe version, how much does this do? Basically one shots. So at this point, I don't think I really care about encounters anymore. I just want the class seeds. Hmm. But I should at least kill them to maybe get more class seeds. Because I did quote unquote improve my ability to get them. Okay. So let's go get that other chest. Cactus is right there. That's convenient. I did not see you until I went around the corner. But that's fine. See, I'm guessing luck changes the projectile damage. Old item seed. Hopefully that'll be a class seed eventually when we start opening these chests. Yeah, so his ability was basically on par with her using a level 2 class strike, to put that in perspective. And he's not even using the best weapon I could afford, which is kind of disgusting. Also, I love that he's at full HP, even though he has abilities that cost HP to use. Welcome. I have a wide variety of weapons from you to peruse. I mean, maybe I should just buy his ability right now. Looks useful. I have wanted this. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna avoid purchasing any items for a while. This is gonna be my last big purchase, I think. I think there's an achievement if I end up with 100,000 money. So I think I'm gonna start going for that achievement. Um, Anything else I really... I, I mean, I guess... I don't really need anything from you. Out of curiosity, how much armor could I allegedly get? Cancel silence. I don't think that matters for projectiles. And it can crit? Oh my gosh, actually monstrous. So if I'm willing to burn a lot of MP, that seems really good. Also, didn't I put converter on him? Am I missing something? Or does that not work on his abilities? If so, I would say that's kind of unclear. Other than it, it doesn't appear to be working. 
I guess they don't count as magic, so that doesn't work. That kind of sucks. Um... I guess I'll give him MP boost then. That's kind of unfortunate. Just so he can use one or two more projectiles with the Fairy Walnut. So at this point, levels are my friend because it gives him more spammable abilities. was near <laughs> just interrupt our own conversation so i guess that confirms it it doesn't count as magic so nothing that buffs magic matters this valley was near mulbear moors there's a benavidon press bye let's search a pretty easy stun not bad. <laughs> Calvisham saying it should cost hearts instead of MP. Not quite Castlevania. I. I still think this is probably my best ability, so if I do this... I think with my luck score also being maxed, my crits are basically always. So that's kind of nice. If only those other characters could class upgrade. Yeah, so I'm gonna buff their damage so that they do something relevant, since we are getting a ton of cash from this. Nice. Okay, leave it to me. Allow me. Hmm. There's a chest over there. There's two little cactuses here. Interesting. This is my fight. No need to trouble. Please, please activate your ability. I guess she can't cancel it mid attack, which is unfortunate. Okay. A little extra meter there. Knock them both down. Get extra meter. Okay, so. Oh, there's the Goofy Dragon. Hello, Goofy Dragon. I <laughs> just rocket launcher the poor animal. That's messed up. Hit both of them, that's what I wanted, to give other meter. Build meter for the team here. We won admirably. Just keep getting no Mycons, which I don't super care about. Um... Stunned them both, so that way I could get a combo going on them. Oh, didn't quite interrupt him. A little cactus. So the little cactus doesn't show up on the mini map, but it will still let me know if they're in the area. Three cups of wishes. So at least the items per treasure chest are scaling better than uh, Trials Asenius as well. As well. Remember when we got, like, a candy from, like, one of the final areas of the game? Like, a single candy? It's like, what was that nonsense? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Can we actively see the passives of the character classes at all? Okay, we can. 20% chance of acquiring twice the amount of item when an item is attained. Yeah, I mean, that's probably useful for what I'm doing. Stat decrease effect time shortened by 40%. I don't know if that's really relevant or not. So, yeah. It. It's nice that the other class abilities continue to stack with it, I guess. Go for a simple single jab in the special. We cannot delay. Unknown seed attained. So much for getting double of them. Um Oh, golden seeds also act as healing items. Interesting. Yeah. I was gonna say, I don't want spoilers, Calvisham. I'll find out when I get there. Um. Hmm. Maybe I just give him hand axe for the future? Honestly, I might just get rid of Cookie. I feel like I'm so grossly over leveled at this point. I think I might actually just refuse to use it. Um. So I just need some abilities from the other characters. What am I looking for? I'm looking for... Wind. So let's get rid of the cookie so I have Siren Claw. So I have a bazillion healing items. Ability to make it nighttime if I need to. Which I might as well as. Might as well to How did that hit me? I was really far to the side there. Hitboxes, please. Interrupted the attack. Nice. Start a serve. That's fine. Heal the team. Okay, leave it to me. If only we weren't in a hurry. I'd love to take these home. So still have another little cactus. I've not found more treasure chests. See, so yeah, I'm now over leveled. I should probably avoid some combat. How's my money looking? Back to 50,000 ish. I'm sorry. What is this graphic? Okay. Well, let's go this way, maybe? Oh, there's another little cactus. I mostly just figured this looked like the least likely place to have progress, so I guess that works in a way. So one more and I'll get triple XP when I already feel like I'm overleveled. Take one of these. More cash isn't bad. Allow me. Okay, leave it to me. Let me cast the spell. There we go. There we go. Almost got it. What a rude game. Okay, mostly just wanted to do that because there's an MP restore right here. So this is just kind of busy work on the paths. So what happens if I go this way? There's still four treasure chests I haven't seen. One of them we know has to be a seed. And I do want the seed. I think this many enemies is probably always worth fighting when I have a CS gauge like that. There. I basically restore their gauge. Level ups that don't mean anything because I'm stat capped. Dodge 
dangerous. Yeah, those crits potentially mixed with strength might end up making him a pretty good damage dealer. Despite going a mostly support role. Okay, I'm hoping this will be a class upgrade. Free strike, might as well do it. Nicely done. One down, chat. That hitbox is broken. That hitbox is actually broken. I was not within the red when I got hit there. Land Umber's Ring. Probably not worth swapping. Half's Earth Damage. Sure. Guess we'll get the immunity to the boss item. Uh, I got a spare candy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking if there's like five enemies and I can hit them with a class ability. Save potentially a lot of time here. I think I'm gonna ignore this fight. Gotta get this nuisance out of the way before we can go. Oh, it only did 18. Oh, but I don't have immunity to poison. <sighs> I got punished for getting rid of that. Annoying. I think he rocketed them. That was kind of monstrous. Companion. Okay, leave it to me. Dodge this. There we go. Basically, could conserve my CS. I could level again with Hawkeye. That would be useful, I think. Multiple chests here. Dangerous. Okay, get rid of you. Yeah, see, now this is the problem. Now there's poison mid battle. I'm gonna die. Oh no, I got healed. Never mind. Okay, I'm putting on the cure poison. The one time I take it off, I get punished so hard. We're putting this back on. Screw this. I had that on for like almost the entirety of the game. Until like half a dungeon ago. Not worth putting it back on. Well, that was just rude. Good thing I had immunity. Interrupting their abilities. Interrupt the attack. Some healing, heal Hawkeye. There is a full heal up ahead, which isn't bad. Well, there's a lot of slimes in there. Kill this guy real quick. So many overlapping AoEs. Nice. Let's get immunity for a second here. Yeah, let's get rid of the rest of the slimes. I thought it was going to be an only and a two monster encounter there. Not quite. So sadly no seed there either. We have two chests left and I see where they are. Okay, I'm going to ignore the annoying poison. So we have a good chance of getting two different classes since I picked up a seed in combat earlier. I will literally save scum it until we get something that I can use. If we pick up more in the future, I'll just refuse to identify them until we have all of them. And then I can maybe pick and choose later. Um... And I don't want to use my abilities here. It actually can AoE? Oh my gosh, what a what a disgusting item, chat. Disgusting. Well, I have enough CS to do a boss fight. I have enough MP to basically delete a boss. 
Do I even bother with weaknesses or just spam item? Yeah, sneaky slimes indeed. <laughs> Hopefully the other characters will feel this broken. Oh, I kind of remember you. I'm sorry, I did 1600? Huh. Okay. I did not mean to throw it with the protagonist. So it looks like it's based off of luck, so that we confirm that. Let's do a real easy... Do I have wind damage? No. Do Axe Bomber, though. I need you to debuff. I'm gonna heal her. I'm gonna inform you to do some damage here. Why was he walking towards me? Why did he just walk towards me there? Seriously? What an idiot. All right, I'm gonna take damage here, I think. I did... Did not want to tumble there. I was trying to use items, but I canceled the menu too quickly. That was not worth. Out of MP, which really sucks. Um. Her damage is low. Let's use Walnut on him. Then I'm gonna strength up myself, maybe. Yeah, this fight's over. The other hand respawn. Unfortunate. I almost killed it in one try. I think if I hadn't gotten clipped and died... I would have been fine. Because that caused me to lose my buff that I had earlier. That was... That was kind of unfair. That was kind of unfair. I got comboed. I mostly just need to hit it once or twice here. Also, I think she didn't defense down the final enemy. I think it wore off right at the end. Can you please heal yourself? I mean, if you're not gonna dodge, at least do something. Use your... hatchet here. Hmm... just want to be able to hit the boss and kill it. Come on. Okay, 
Can I get him to target this? Yes. I think this is GG. Yeah. So kind of annoying. I, it definitely felt like the damage I needed to stun it was based off of me having three class upgrades. So there definitely was more of a difficulty spike to get to the stun compared to the other bosses. And that, that felt kind of unfair from a numeric standpoint, to be honest with you. Because I was not underleveled, I just don't have the ability to burst when I needed to burst. So hopefully we can get an upgrade so I can get the next level CS. And then finally finish off my stat points, which will be a very big, big jump in damage as soon as that happens. Um... Okay, leave it to me. So yeah, he's basically able to kill them instantly, which is nice. No items attained. Uh, well, I guess this is where we go into R RNG reset heaven. Can I get something useful on these other characters? One more, but never done down. Good work. The Benevidons are supposed to get. <laughs> they're they're just yada yadaing, and I'm like, I super don't care. I just. They are unrestrained. I'm gonna go here. We I think. Hurry and defeat them. Oh, we can't revisit Tomato in this game either. That sucks. All right, so we're gonna go save, and we are gonna hope, chat, that I get a useful combination of class abilities, or if I don't get it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the next dungeon, find the seed, leave, get another one to try to increase the odds. Welcome. So I stay for free because of the upgrade, which is a good change. I'm going to make a save here before I do anything. Um, do this. I got two. Dragoon Band, Death Aura. I don't think I want to be the Dragoon Master. I kind of remember that being a thing. Can I just reload? <sighs> Stop prompting me. Just let me load the game. <laughs> Reset. I don't want to do that. I think I do want Death Aura. I think there's one called like Death Fist. I want to go like basically raw attack on this character. I do not want the light variant of uh, our abilities, so I want to get something different here. I want it to be something other than Dragon Ban. Is it really only going to give me those? Oh no. Are we locked in? I don't want those classes though. Uh... I'm going to try one more time. I mean, I guess it's better to be Dragoon Master potentially than nothing for her, but I'm pretty sure I want the other ability. I, I remember people complaining about it in the SNES version that it was like, it's basically if you want to go melee, if you want kind of like a melee tank, you go that you go that route, but I actually don't want that with her. I'm going to sleep until evening. And then I'm going to save the game again to see if this manipulates the RNG or if it's hard stuck. I mean, if the seeds are in like a guaranteed order, that's also kind of OK. I'm not really sure how they fixed it. We'll do two. OK. So with this, I guess we'll continue for now. On another fairy walnut, which is huge. Ranked it up. Okay. So I I don't like the fact that it feels like I'm being forced into these classes. Definitely not a fan. 
But I think I got one of the classes that I'm looking for. So I want, like, the rawest of raw attack power. I could put her in Dragon Master. I'm not sure. Unless you're not allowed to reclass. That's also something I'm not sure about. So let's find out. Because if she cannot reclass, I do not think I want to upgrade her here. Or I'm not going to be happy. Like, it'll help me in, like, the short term, but I don't think I'll enjoy the last, like, five boss fights or so. Where if this is just, like, I'm assuming this is the equivalency of going Dark Dark, because it's called Death Aura. I'm assuming this will be raw damage for the, uh, Kevin, which is what we want. Let's see. Who is switching classes? We should be able to see what her abilities are, and then I can make another decision. So we have the choice between Dragon Master and Fenrir Knight. Is that decrease for move effective until battle ends? It's weird that that sounds like a buff, but I'm like, that's just how it worked in the other game. I mean, I'll take it. Attack increased by 20% when at 100% HP. So yeah, that one seems more melee oriented. I think I want Fenrir Knight. But I don't have the ability. So we're going to hold off on that. I think I want to get that ability. So that way I don't have to repeatedly cast because I do find that annoying. And what about... Please use the statue. Who is switching classes? Let's go to Kevin. And hopefully I got the very, very aggressive one. Let's find out. Self-sufficient warrior. I don't care about that. Powerhouse character, Fatal Fist, an unbeatable class. They use class like series strike, cause less of damage in the area of effect. Attack and defense increased by 10% when below 30% health. Invincible for 10 seconds to start a battle. Enlightened sounds like a lot of fun in casual play, but I think I just want Fatal Fist. Yeah, it's got slightly better attack power. And... Naturally being able to potentially be low health could be useful for the end of the game. So let's, let's be the Fatal Fist. It's interesting the music plays during the pause. So presumably Enlighten will give me some sabers, like the Moon Saber and stuff like that. Which I'm not interested in. I want his stats as high as possible, chat. New moves unlocked. So quadruple XY. Telling me how to escape battles, even though I'm at the end of the game. Not sure why you're giving me those tips. Anyway, let, let's take a look at his training stuff. Finishing blow. Damage to enemy of 30% or below increased by 30%. That's pretty big. Let's see what his luck is. Broken line, 60% chance of defense decrease with critical hit. That's not bad. But we already have a stat down character. Moon energy, boost ally. Oh! So he does still gain spells with this, interestingly. Damage enemy with status effect increased by 40%. Wow, that's actually pretty high. I think I just want to get strength up first. Not going to equip yet. The question is, what do I do here? Defense down randomly on crit is kind of self-sufficient for me. Victory heal is not the worst thing ever, but it goes kind of counter-intuitive to his normal bonuses. Like, this would be good if I was going tank with him, but I don't think it makes sense for his, the rest of his build. Effect length increased by 100% for status increase caused by move, but I don't have a status increase effect yet, I don't think. Unless I go for spirit. At 7% of CF's gauge when receiving damage. Oh, okay. I probably want this then. Let's let's go up to 27 in this, and then we'll probably invest in luck or something. So I think I'll just barely be able to get moon energy. So improving chance of crit kind of makes more sense with luck now. 
So the rest can start going towards luck and critical damage, for example. Yeah. Oh, da his damage is increased by 30% when he's hit by crits. Okay, interesting. Not what I was thinking that meant, but that's fine. So yeah, we can give him... Yeah, when they're low on health... Doing 30% more damage is pretty crazy. I think chat would agree. That's a big stat increase. Um, I could double up on the one low on health bonuses. Status effect time shortens. Might get attack recoil for damage or I could get conflagration. I don't think I care about Converter at all. Yeah, I might just go for Knockdown for now. I would have liked to have more Paybacks active on the character, but potentially just doing more damage to finish them off I think goes well with his character set. So I only learned one spell, which is kind of funny. So I have multiple attack increases if I get low on HP, which is probably fine. So now the question is, if I come back here. Who is switching classes? Try to switch your class. Can I switch class again, or no, will it not allow me? Strongest class you can be. Focus on leveling up in order to Okay, so it will not let me redo a class, so I do not want to touch hers then yet. So yeah, I'm just going raw physical damage here. I don't care about support abilities. Yeah, it would have been nice if I could still switch as long as I had the seed. It's kind of weird that you're locked in like that. But anyway, now our main damage dealer has got an, an attack multiplier, so this game is still pretty over. We have enough fairy seeds, or fa fairy wellness, excuse me, to, to delete the enemy. Um... Do I need anything else here? Not really. Guess we'll go to Frostbite next. We do have a fire spell for the boss, so that should be pretty strong. Yeah, that feels like a big misplay on their perspective. Like, I know the Mystery Seeds used to be able to give you class abilities that you didn't have, and I think that's cool and all, but... That's what they probably should have been, rather than lock in. Look at that, chat. We could have so much more defense. Well, I have a wide variety of weapons from you to perfume. You're welcome. So I'm gonna set 100,000 for the achievement. We're not too far away. So let's see how much damage we do with this character now. Other than we're very good at killing when they're low on HP, which is perfect for me. It's cold. It's not something I wanted to return to. Not too cold for me. Do not worry. It's another cactus and four chests. So we should get triple XP. We pay attention here. There we go. Let's defeat the Benevadon of Water. We should hurry if we do not wish to catch a cold. Oh, we have Ludger's super ability. Oh. Yeah, that's unfair. <laughs> right, Chad? Hold on. Wait a minute. He used that in the SNES version. So yeah, we unlocked the Super Saiyan bomb. So sadly, her damage will fall off a little bit, but at least her weapon upgrades keep her somewhat relevant. So we're hoping for random bonus seeds. Oh no, Chad, there's ice physics. Oh no, look at it. Oh boy. 
<laughs> East three caves flashback intensifies. Well, we found this. What? What? <laughs> there we go, chat. Look at this go. Vibrate. <laughs> Assert dominance by never touching the ground. Oh boy. Um. Actually, I think it wants me to go this way. It ate my jump there. That's fine. Ooh, I missed the uh, last guy with the final hit. Okay, our power attack combo is already like a big improvement. So if I want to kill enemies pretty quickly, I think this was a good choice. Yeah, and I can already see what we crit we do insane damage, so I definitely want to focus on luck next. But if I want to, I could boost our crit chance, which might be worth putting on our ally. Where is the chest? There it is. Three cups of wishes. HP is looking very silly, which is good, because that means maybe I can have to heal them a little less. There we go, a little jump extension there, don't mind me. I guess that's the plus side, is that I know little tricks in case I don't make the jump to go further. So that's good that I know that. Big Men's Ring, I'm assuming this is just Ice Resist, which I don't think I care about. Yeah, I don't care. So we're still looking for little cactus. Hmm. So if I get to the end of the dungeon, we have to backtrack and find him. See a chest down there. Oh, there's a little cactus. I see it. Goodbye. That's disappointing. I apparently just have a delete button now. Okay, so. Ooh, the momentum is so weird. Okay, so now we should randomly get triple XP. Which is pretty unfair. Let's go back for some chests. I already got the mystery seed, but I'm still curious what's here. really get frosty. That's unfortunate. Allow me. Come on, get on frosted. Oh, shaking doesn't get you out faster. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, leave it to me. Yeah, with how many times he crits here, I can end up being pretty crazy. I lost sight of where I was trying to go. Uh... I was curious if I could jump back up here. Kind of. Okay. So I gotta go back there, so I have to kind of go around the long way, sadly. Uh, I don't think I bother saving. I don't think I'm in any threat of game overing. I'll take that free CS, though. You okay? So I need to kind of fall like this, maybe? There we go. 
I don't know if that was the intended path, but that was the way that I went, chat. There we go. Get some healing. I don't really want to fight you. Ouch. Not responding well to this harsh cold. Yeah, yeah, whatever, AI. Okay, so I got all the chests. I have as much health as Hawk does now. So that means our class has definitely given us more HP. Because keep in mind, I think Hawk has 60 HP from his abilities, which I could get rid of now. I don't know if he really needs this, but I don't think he also has like a really great move either. Because I don't think it, I think he just wants luck boosts, but I don't see any in here that are re really relevant, is what I'm saying. Like, Beast Roar would be useful on him just to do more damage versus bosses. Potentially. Why is there a heal pot right next to a save statue that heals you? I have genuine questions, chat. So I should be able to fire damage up. We're planning, I think so. I should be able to fire damage up on this, and this should actually be relevant. I'll get rid of the... I'll leave Hand Axe on for now. So Hand Axe actually ended up being pretty good because its base power is 300. So I could just buy a million Hand Axes for him and just throw them. I mean, they were very strong, just for clarity. So he got the spirit ability. I don't know if I need to take damage and build CS. It might be better that I just go towards critical damage or something like this. Just to improve my odds of critting. Yeah, and I think at this point he only really cares about strength. I don't think I care about it at all with him. So let's improve his damage for when he class strikes. So again, he's already pretty strong. Let's just scale him up a little bit. And uh, yeah, this should basically be GG. So I'm going to spend like the first turn debuffing, spamming all my abilities. Hopefully the boss doesn't immediately hit me. And if they does not immediately hit me, it's going to lose like a quarter of its HP. Uh, the boss that loved to go in and out of target ability by going in the water. I remember you. So you should take bonus damage from fire, right? Let's compare the damage. I did a decent amount of damage. I think the boss is just kind of dead right now. That did insane damage, chat. Can we agree? Like, that just deleted the boss. No. 
still ten minutes worth. Had enough. Oh, he just Super Saiyan burst on him? That's rude. Oh, the boss is already dead. Oh, that's awkward. Well, anyway, chat, I hope you I hope you see that the class changes are very broken. <laughs> it's like, I wasn't done comboing him. Whatever. Right, chat, whatever. <laughs> Stupid boss. I didn't even use like half my MP. Shake your head, chat. GG. Well, time to see if I can get the other ability for her. Please give me the other ability. Because then she can actually use more CS. So we have raw melee to finish uh, casual encounters. Yeah, yeah, whatever game. So the game does not feel balanced around these abilities. Like, the, it feels like the stat line is somewhat balanced for the abilities. The raw, like, level threes seem really broken. Like, granted, I did have elemental weakness. I don't even think my debuff lasted the whole time. It probably wore off at some point. As I said before, I really don't like micromanaging those kinds of debuffs. So once that's on permanently, I'm going to be a lot happier because I just want to fire and forget. I don't care if the boss cancels it with like a special ability or whatever. But yeah, I just, as you saw, I was taking like I was literally just focusing on my allies flinging abilities. I'm not looking at the boss's health bar for the most part. I just want the boss to die unambiguously. Welcome. So let's save again. Please give her her other ability, please, <laughs> please. Mage Aura. Um, I don't, I don't know what that is. <sighs> we got one for the other character class. I don't want. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. Can I reset it? So unlucky. Is this just locked in forever? If so, that's kind of sad. Maybe because it's from a chest that's guaranteed to be that. Which is really, really unfortunate because I really need her to upgrade at some point. So now I feel like I'm being punished by the game just purely due to RNG rather than skill or anything else. Yeah, let's get more base luck to improve crit chance. Let's just improve your strength. So that way, if you are dumb enough to use your... Oh, it's a strength up thing. Never mind, I have to actually get rid of something. Um... I could just get rid of HP boost. In case... It's more for the AI. I don't plan on using traps, but the AI could. Um... That blows. Right, chat? Like, I just need the other ability. I guess I'm going in order-ish, so I guess I should go over to the woods next. It's so sad, chat, that I can't level her. <laughs> and you saw, chat, I'm genuinely killing a lot of enemies, I'm exploring. I just, I wanted to give me something very specific and I did not get it. So we'll level her. Fortunately, I think we could carry her. I'm hoping that this one will give me the other ability that I seek. So that way I could just leave them in perma debuff mode. Thick woods past the lamp blooms. Watch your step, or you may lose your way. So the cats are here again. 
Well, I have a wide variety of weapons from you to your Wow, their weapons aren't even upgrading. So we know that there's going to be one final upgrade in like the City of Illusion area later in the game. Whatever. Oh, there's a chest up here. More Cups of Wishes. The game is really making sure. So I wish the earlier game felt like this. It, I feel like it's being very overly generous with healing items, which is like fine for the most part. I see we've turned into a 2D platformer. So there's the class seed. Do I, I wonder if I just go back? Yep. Yeah. I mean, I'm barely in the dungeon. I might as well just go check. Right, chat? Like, I, I'm right here. Please be the upgrade for her. Don't don't be the other rogue ability or whatever. Yeah, so I like that they're trying to make the end game a bit more interesting. So, like, so far, you know... Th the later part of the game feels very unbalanced, but I'm okay with it being unbalanced in the player's favor. Please don't be a rogue item. Jeez. My chat is just... Come on. Seriously? Oh, he can raise max HP temporarily. That's so... Chat, that is so unlucky. Can we talk about that? I I had five seeds. I got literally every single class but the one I'm looking for. That is maximum unlucky. Think about it, chat. <laughs> we used two, have three, missing one. Do I, you know what? Let's just go to another dungeon. I, I want to just get the seed before we continue. This is really bothering me that we don't have it still. Very, very, very bad luck to still not have it. Um, I don't know. One of these other places real quick. Yeah, like I actually just got trolled so hard. Unreal. Um... Laurent has one? Or is it just mean because it, it's near the Shimmering Place? Okay, let's go to Oasis. I don't want to do this dungeon. I just want the seed. I don't want to leave. Yeah, I'm getting actually hard trolled. Ooh, what a beautiful area, chat. Look at all the CS. Oh. Oh, that's unfair. <laughs> Chad, I'm turning around and collecting that again. Thank you, Bill and Ben. You have my favorite area in the game. There's a heel statue there. There's now merchants there. What a ridiculous room. Best room in the game, chat. Leads to everything you ever want. Look at this. So unfair. Might as well just use her ability first, and then use theirs. So we might get lucky and get a random seed by f fighting enemies, but I want to try to guarantee that we get it if we don't have it already. So we see the chest. I did not miss the chest on the way there, at least. I believe we were unable to go this way before. I feel the presence of a Benavidon nearby. Hurry! I hate to pick on such weak targets, but... Oh, come on. <laughs> right, chat, come on. Give it to us. I will hit the delete button. You will not like a game. Goodbye. No the area is clear of threats. Okay, leave it to me. Wow, I got double XP there. Nice. Please be the seed. <sighs> Unlucky. <laughs> right, chat? Unlucky. I see little cactus, at least. 
Seed? Hot oh, damn. Higher chance of good yields from seeds. I don't really care about that, to be honest, at all. I think we're good. I purchased all the healing items I'll ever need in the game, and we seem to be collecting enough to get the rest of the way. Take down the enemy. So yeah, as long as we keep improving our crit chances, I think we'll be fine. Couple wishes. Knocked into the fire rudely. Ooh, thanks for showing me about this gold item, though. Oh, they made this an order of me. I was just gonna play blind for the rest of the game. To be honest with you. We have earned a rest. Oh come on! Thought I jumped over it. Game please. What where is their hitbox? Please be the seed. Okay. How close are we to the exit? I guess I might as well finish this since I'm here. Since I already went pretty far. Need 12,000 more for the achievement. Goodbye. Needs to be taken out. Yeah, yeah. Something, something, Benevadon. Doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay, leave it to me. Gotta get this nuisance out of the way before we can get I meant to back up a little more before doing that. That's unfortunate. Wow, I love my allies did not attack him at all. Thanks, allies. Did it? Why did it aim in the corner? That was weird. Finish you real quick. Level up. Oh. Jump button, hello. Oh, now, thanks, game. <laughs> big, big ol' thanks on that one. Wait, I can't jump over that ledge? Why? Why can I not jump over that ledge? Game, please. Mm, I kind of wish they didn't medicinal herb me. I'm worried that I'm gonna run out of them because I don't have like a ton of ton. I'm gonna be walking into stage hazards all the time. So I have to go the long way around if I want that. So I'm only missing one treasure chest. That one was on no. me. I will not fall. Uh, how do I tell what game time it is? It's still daytime, so right. Never mind. Then I don't need to use the herb because I was gonna say I could do that to boost my damage. I see a way to get CS from the other boss fight, so I might as well just go crazy here. Just kill them. Cause I'll regain enough meter that it shouldn't matter. I hate to pick on such weak targets. But... Yeah, 235 percent is good enough. I only really need one meter to deal with the boss. So that's the boss arena. Is there anything else I really want to change? Oh. Uh?
could spear it up on her. I don't know if it really matters. I guess I'll make her tankier to that kind of stuff. Let us do ice damage slash water. And then we want probably that's about it. I don't think I super care about these other abilities. I don't think I'll ever use the coins. Okay, we got one unknown seed. I think I got enough here. I could just use a cookie just because. So if I have water damage with my traps, this fight will go very fast. I'm going to be mashing the D-pad to hopefully activate the abilities. So I'm going to buff up as quickly as possible. Remember I had wood, fire, dark, light, no water. Oh, what are these statue things? Okay. Be big damage here. Speaking of which, okay, boss is still debuffed. Uh, let's throw another item at you. she die game game please i think i'm actually doing well in this fight i need them to stop being stupid for a moment i know it's hard for them please heal your companions or yourself Can I really not target it right now? Unfortunately, I think all my buffs just wore off. There we go. Sadly, I didn't get a good buff timing with me. And I think the debuff also wore off, so that was just kind of unfortunate timing, because I wasn't allowed to retarget the boss. Activate your ability, thank you. This should be over. Yeah. Okay. Sword damage is still insane. You hate this guy? He's pretty easy. It's mostly just like dealing with uh the fact that like I couldn't debuff him for long periods of time. So that's another example where if the game had just allowed me to debuff him forever, that would have been way even easier. He would have died the first time he got stunned. Yeah, sorry, the bot is dead. 
So, no bot commands. Something's wrong with stream elements. I don't know. It's not in my control. I'm not going to worry about it. So, I definitely want to get my CS back. Please give me what I need later. Well, I have a wide variety of weapons from you to I don't think I'm even going to bother purchasing anything. I don't think I care. So we now have 113 MP, so we're up like another 10. So casually walking around, I have quite a bit of damage. So now the real question is, will the game give me the only one that I don't have? Please give me the thing that I don't have. Please. Come on, do it. Do it. Let, let me get perma debuff so I don't have to worry about the boss being untargetable for like a minute and a half and cheesing out the debuff timer and therefore when I finally stun him I don't do big damage I would like that to no longer be a thing please please give me the other thing death aura you gave me the one that I already had are you serious wow oh. why why is that a thing? Why didn't they fix this? Come again. I don't I think that's the one I just used. Why did they give it to me? Seriously? Man, that makes me so mad. So she's not going to be upgraded again because I still did not get the one the only thing that I want from her. I'm not able to get, of course. That's stupid. Uh, I don't think I care about Ambush. Damage enemy not targeting player increased by 50%. I mean, it's it's solid, but it's like, whatever. Uh, I think I just want Strength here. Then I don't know what I'm going to do with the remainder of his points. Maybe I just hold it in case there's another class. Yeah, G Chat, it would have been real, it would have been real swell if I could have used these. Would it, wouldn't it have been great, Chat, if she could just rank up without, uh... Needing to worry about anything? Are there any other places I can get a seed? I guess there's one. I don't really feel like redoing that boss fight or else I wouldn't have done that. Um, so there's Shimmering Ruins. The Woods, that's it? I only have one more place I could potentially get it. Although it's possible when I picked up the seed before, that was the random seed that I acquired from a fight. So it's still possible that I'm not... Yeah, whatever. I don't care about the intro. Move on. Hard to walk on ruins. Mazes are fun, though. The Navadon of Light is nearby. Mazes are fun. Get out of here. Come on. We're on the ancient quest for getting a basic upgrade. I really don't look forward to this when we go to play other characters. Oh boy, it's a puzzle level. Hmm, okay. my favorite. At least he's still one-shotting. That's a lot of XP. Come on, class up. No, come on. Where is it? Right, chat? Come on. Oh, is it underwater or something at the moment and I can't grab it? Hmm. That's unfortunate. Allow me. Oh, watch out for the enemy. So without the weapon upgrade, she doesn't quite do enough damage. Went airborne briefly. That was interesting. I hate to pick on such weak targets, but. Hmm. So at some point, I need to find little cactus. Actually, I don't even know if I got enough of the little cactus from the other area. I got. I think I got one. But did I need two? I was so focused on the class seed that I kind of forgot to check. I have to go check that later. 
Please give me the class seed. Understood. Of course. And there must be a logical way through these ruins. Uh... <laughs> I just want to upgrade her. Game, please. Right, before we hit that, let's go this way and cross over the gap before something changes. No. Wait, can I seriously not get back up there? Why? Uh, delete button. Hmm. Most unfortunate, chat. Most unfortunate. Hmm. So that did raise and lower some things. Okay, leave it to me. Watch out for the enemies. Oh my gosh, the tan pole when you hit it. What noises it makes. Potential feels limitless. Oh, you wish you never crossed that with us. Yeah. Stay yeah. One day. Good training. Hmm. <laughs> Chat, little do they know, I have no interest in this dungeon. Where is this damn seed? So wishes, no. How am I still at max MP? You know what? I don't need to fight that. Oh, there's a little cactus. There's one little cactus. I might have missed one in the other place. We'll briefly go back. So I have a couple more to go. I feel sad that we're about to complete another dungeon without leveling her. So presumably this drains the water. It did. I love that I basically one combo kill them now. That's kind of silly. More item seeds. This path got opened up. Still nothing I could do over here. It's too deep to go further as I see a chest over there. Cool. Um, I guess I should go this way. I'll do this to build meter for allies. And I basically got all my meter back due to the rapid jabs. It does seem like power attacks build CS pretty quickly. So I'm pretty good at generating it now. That's the plus side. But, 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 why, why can't I, why won't you let me go there? Unless I could go this way to go there. Okay, you will let me go this way. Thank you. Where... Where is the damn seed upgrade? Game, please. <sighs> right, chat, big sigh. Well, we know the Benevidon of Darkness should be the last one. And that's the triple face. I don't look forward to triple face. To drain the water even more. Hopefully this means I can go get the chests I saw earlier. Huh. Plus side. I feel like this was a good choice for Kevin. Not sure how to get to that chest quite yet. Let's go to this one first. Come on. Right, chat? Like, come on. Oh, boy. Hmm. 
How many, uh, are these, are we up to here? 42. Okay. Just trying to think if mathematically that makes sense. So we have 43. I skipped the woods. Final dungeon probably has at least one. Oh, there's one. So we'll do a quick check. I should probably have it by the time I get to the wood boss. So I'm going to double check to see if I missed anything here. There we go. I swear, chat, if this does not give me what I want, I'm going to be so salty. That's all I want, chat. I don't even want to complete the dungeon. Like, I'll get the item if it's there, but like... Let, let's save here, just in case this doesn't result in anything. Please give me the class upgrade that I want. So we're going to briefly go back to the fireplace, just to make sure. I'm just going to do a quick check, and if I got all of them, then we'll move on. Because I know I picked up one. I don't know if I picked up two, because if I needed to. On the plus side, our CS is now maxed. So I'm not going to go grab it now, I just want to know. So that way I don't have to come back here later with the reset. Okay, so there were two and I got them both. Okay. So that would leave me potentially at... 45? Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to check that before we go too much further because I got one in Loren. So that was immediately on the other side. I think we got one at the Mulbear Moors. I definitely got one at the the Fiery Gorge. Which is where we just were. Went to Labyrinth of Ice. How many did I get in the Gem Valley? We'll check that later. We got one at Wendell randomly. We got zero in the woods. So I'm expecting there's probably going to be at least two there. Based off of the patterns that we're seeing so far. Are we potentially missing one? I swear if this does not give a chat. Oh f <laughs> Trials! Come on! Seriously? Oh! Well, time to reset. Wow, what bullshit. I'm resetting. Thanks, Trials. I I love not getting the upgrade that I want. God. Fine, I'm gonna hold it, and I'm gonna hold it hostage. We're gonna identify it later, I guess. Stupid ass thing. Well, I guess I'm not upgrading her, because I don't want the other upgrade. So thanks, Trials. Really appreciate that. Stupid. So chat saw it. I got six seeds. None of the only <laughs> I could not get the only one that I was looking for. I was willing to maybe go nomad on the rogue comparatively. Or yeah, instead of rogue, I mean. I don't think I'm willing to go the other route with her. So she's basically just gonna be useless for the rest of the run. 
is the game just refuses to give me anything of interest. Did I seriously not get around that? Uh, red crystal, red crystal, let me think. I'd go over there. So stupid, chat. So chat, did I ever tell you how much I don't like RNG in video games when your uh, stuff is decided by RNG? <laughs> did, did I tell you how that's one of the things that will piss me off in video games the fastest is RNG when it's mandatory for something to unlock? That was like the big issue in like Rune Factory 4 before they re-released it on the Switch. It was literally RNG whether or not the game let you proceed. That's what I'm reminded of currently. Um. Okay, now I should be able to go that way and get it. Yeah, it's like, I just want to do the other class. Stupid. Like, I thought at least the, the chests would give you the equivalency of guaranteed one of the seeds. So, like, it could have been RNG from fights, which I would have been fine with. These chests should not have been RNG. What a stupid decision. Because it's like, I clearly want the other ability. It fits my playstyle a lot more, because I don't like micromanaging it. Oh, they burned my meter at some point, apparently. That's unfortunate. Okay, so if I do play a fight, I still get the XP. That's good. I'm mostly just taking the long way to try to get to one of these chests. I could have gone straight to the boss if I wanted to. So I have one more chest in the middle. How do I... I guess I go south to do it. So stupid. No need to trouble your time for retreat! It's like one of those things, like, I just started to enjoy it, and then it's like, no. We're just gonna make the world's worst decision, and you are now no longer going to have fun, because you just don't get to play with the character. The character is literally just useless. She's not gonna do anything, pretty much, for the rest of the run. Okay, now I finally have opened it up to get this chest. What was here? 4,000 money? Absolutely not worth it. Ugh. Yeah, if I go to replay this again, I am not looking forward to this. I guess I can hold more seeds in the future to try to get all of them. Yeah, really, really stupid. Okay. I'm going to take out my frustration on this boss, and this boss is going to die very fast. So we're fighting a uh, legally distinct Krakow Jr. Careful. Hmm. That's no ordinary eye monster. What a what a incredibly stupid line. I feel bad for the voice actors for having to voice act that. Well, that was rude. I was in the middle of buffing. Don't move. Up 
Okay, leave it to me. <laughs> no time to mince words. Sit Let's do something like this. And it should be over here. Next. Stupid boss. Making me debuff twice. I'm waving my finger, Chan. She is so underpowered now compared to the rest of the team. Oh my gosh. So sad. Okay, so let's improve our luck. Instead of attack recoil, where's the other one? Let me press a, a defense. Yeah, okay, so I want whenever I crit to randomly apply defense down, because I think that'll apply to everything that I have. So I'd rather have that for general encounters. And then for him. He's done as a character? He got more strength, in case he needs to melee. Hold on to these points. I don't really want these other abilities at all. She's at 38 unused points. Life sucks. to see if there's anywhere that's like obvious that I missed potentially a cactus. The math is not adding up in my head. So we missed two there, that's fine. Because I don't imagine there's three in the final area. Five Ben Evadon's down so far. Only three left. Keep going. Is there a way I can three see? Hmm. I'm going to double check Mole Bear before we go further. We got one on the way there, but did I get two in the Gem Valley? Oh, these are level 40. Rebuild some CS while we're here. I mean, I do need these to potentially drop me a class seed. So I'm gonna take the easy pills here. Bonk. Like, they're just getting absolutely deleted, chat. They're between me and, me and my destination. Look like I got an item there. I'll just close. Don't care about that. Allow me. It's like I like how it says once you pressed once, but every time I reload, I've got to press it. Oh no, I did get two here. Hmm. Is there another area that opened up? Because the end of the game should just be. It should be like the night place and then our final area. So unless both of them have two, which I guess is possible. I feel like something's still not adding up mathematically. 
I wonder if there is like one. Oh, okay, okay. So there, okay. So there should be, okay. So there might be one or two there. So if there's two there, I'll be at forty-five. Let's go to the woods then. Not worry about it for now. So I think the dark place should be one. Then if there's the, oh, we didn't do the sky fight yet. That's what I'm thinking of. I was like trying to count in my head how many dungeons there should be left. So sadly, I don't think Reese will ever level. <laughs> Because I just want to see her other ability, but I don't think it's going to happen. So, very annoying that I don't get to make my choice. It's like they went with like the right idea of letting you potentially uh, swap between light and dark because you don't know which one is better for you. But then like they didn't commit to it all the way, which I would have been fine with class items giving abilities. Like They could have left that the same. I wouldn't have had any problems with that. Yeah, there's two cactus here somewhere. Let's go back to platformer world. I think we got the chest up there already. There's a little path over here. Oh. <laughs> I was not expecting the game to uh, tumble for me. Can I really not get back on that? Apparently not. So, can't go this way. I really hope the little cactus is not in the background or something weird here. So, I'm in Woods of Wandara 2, and it looks like there are quite a lot of paths through here. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see what we get. We should work together to defeat this place! Sorry about that. So we're in kind of a more normalized area. This is my fight. No need to trouble yourself. Yeah, we canceled her from a big bad spell. And we can murder her. I think I applied defense down there automatically. So that's what I'm talking about. But my passive is triggering somewhat usefully. The Navadon of wood needs to be dealt with. Do not lose your way. We will traverse this together. <laughs> Goodbye. My potential feels limitless. Hmm. Can I get a good view of what's over there? Oh, there's a little cactus. I was just looking to see if I could take an advantage point to look at what's over there. I don't think there's a chest, but is there a shiny? So I'm going to see it a little better from here. Um, doesn't look like it. I'll ignore that then. All right, so that's one little cactus down. The chest over here. Game is teasing me with seeds that I don't want. Healing chest in the background. Don't think I care. Hmm. Other chest. Money I don't need. It's possible little cactus is in an area like this. go south first Time to work together everyone Ouch 
I do not have a good ability to deal with this. Maybe level one to get immunity through some of that. I really wish our ally would heal, but he's probably not going to. Are they seriously all dead? Hey child, like, give me a break on this one. Thanks, allies. Trees. No people. I promise you, they are set to use items. I don't know why they didn't use items, other than to potentially annoy me. Let's at least put you not in one touch range, and we'll decide what to do from here. through here. I don't see the cactus. MP is pointless. Our allies were not using their abilities at all. Let's do this. Why are you, honey, you look serving me? Okay, now he used his ability, but it's too late. Um regular ability over here, dream be detained. This should make it nighttime. Oh. Or it doesn't do anything. Thank you, game. Good to know. Permanently daytime. Cool. Love that it explained that to me before I used the item. Oh, come on. Chan, I would like to state that is not my fault. The pickup button and the roll button are the same button. So I thought I was in range. I hit the grab item and it didn't grab it and it made me run. This is so annoying. Now I don't have momentum. Let's try this again. Game, please. Game. You're getting all my nerves. Pick up the item. Thank you. It's not me mispressing. It just didn't want to pick it up. It's like, come on. Give me a break on that one. Roll in my eyes. Okay, so we still have 10 fairy walnuts. I could use that to get through. I'm gonna choose not to use a candy because I feel like we're near the end. Ooh, we're near we're near the end, but there's still so many chests I didn't see. So it's possible in the other room I missed a few. Let's climb up here. Oh. Hmm. Love our ally dying. Cool. Real, really appreciate it. Right, chat? Love it when my allies just don't dodge. Ow. <laughs> How did you hit me while you were already knocked out? That's not fair. You cheater. No more enemies. Until next time. Oh, oh now, now it can go to nighttime? What happened to the dream read I used earlier? Why didn't it work here? Excuse me. Excuse me, I definitely tried to do that before coming here. Chat saw me do that. I activated it, it didn't do anything. Rude. Um, I still miss quite a few chests. Hmm. Oh. It's 
So we have five more. Maybe I got all of them now then? Because if I get one from the last area, that should be 46. Final dungeon might be 47, and then the dungeon after that should be 48, 49. Not sure if there's one in the Mana Sanctuary or not. where it just it just wanted to keep sliding so unfortunate so there's an upper path and a lower path what happens if I go through the upper path end up at a save point the other way because it looks like there's more doors so maybe this will lead to the last chest yeah so there's possibly a chest over here yeah I'm just gonna choose to avoid combat don't think I want anything to do with that rich incense Let's see what that does later I think the enemies tried attacking me outside of combat again. Hmm. Nothing to do here. Nothing over here. So I guess there's nothing left to do other than go to the boss, which is fine. Don't think I want to do anything with them. This is your fight. No nope. <laughs> Alright, chat, wave your finger. Mm -mm. <clears throat> so I have a lot of HP. If I get low on health, I do more damage. Hmm. Is there anything else I could do to set up for this? I don't think I have moon damage, right? Half magic damage done. I got the AoE heal. We're saving that for the final dungeon. Um... Leave anything of interest there. I'll equip Earth Claws for later. I have 17 attack boosts. That's probably fine. I'm doing an average of two a boss. I don't think there's more than five bosses left between us in the end of the game. I guess we're good to go. Let's increase our luck, which presumably influences crit chance. Let's feel sad about Reese, who's useless. So there's Tropicolo plus the Pumpkin King thing. almost died just buffing at the beginning of the fight. That kind of sucks. Wow, okay. That kind of sucks. So she can't debuff it early. I'm gonna use Rock Fall to kill this thing. 
Okay, so def defense down did go through. I want you to heal yourself so you don't die. I want you to heal yourself because you're probably going to get hit. Getting in a loop with them where I just immediately heal and get hit, which really sucks. Let me get any new abilities out of this, maybe. There's only the body left. Could you heal yourself, please? Let's try to speed up this phase slightly. There we go. That is not what I wanted it to target. That really sucks. That really sucks. Why did both our allies die? Chad, I, I like look away for one second. How are they both dead? Come on, game, please. Can you can you try not dying, please? I literally was like focusing one at. I'm so dead. Oh, yep. And they're not dodging. Oh, this is what I was worried about. And they're dead. Okay, I could kill one of these. Can you guys, like, please survive for, like, five seconds? Dodge! 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 Come on! Game, please! This is so unfair. The challenge is purely our allies just don't dodge. Come on, there's so many attacks to do deal with normally. Holy. So unfair to me. And I was caught in a buff animation because it did it after I already buffed, so there's nothing I could do. I'm getting spammed repeatedly, so I can't attack. Such an annoying fight. I'm gonna do this to dodge. Oh, come on. Stop walking into the explosions. <laughs> right, chat? Like, come on. Jeez. I think I'm gonna have to solo this last part. Did you just heal yourself real quick? Oh my gosh, get me out of here. She did just stand there, I know. I was like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's not hard for me to dodge. It's just like, what do you do when they're literally too stupid to CS, dodge, heal? It's like that kind of stuff I'm not going to miss for sure. I find that so frustrating. It's so stupid. It's just like I'm sitting there dodging like the triple explosion, the the swipes, and they're just like, duh, like brain off mode. So stupid. Yeah, it's weird. They're like selectively okay at fight. Like they're never good at boss fights. They're like selectively okay. And I feel like whenever there's a boss 
that is not humanoid, the AI does not know how to fight it. I think that's my conclusion having seen these bosses. If the boss has multiple parts, if the boss has a thing in the sky that it has to hit, or there's multiple targets, it seems they don't seem to know how to deal with it. So like they're they're okay in Bill and Ben. They're really good against Ludgar. They are terrible at anything involving uh really slow AoEs. They just do not seem to know what to do to dodge it. It's insane. Speaking of insane chat, I don't think I got another class seed. I, if we get to the end of if we get to the final dungeon, I will use it. But I would really have preferred to have been able to do the thing that I wanted to play with in the Welcome beginning. I'm gonna get some safety heals. Because I do not trust the AI right now. Yeah, let's just do this. Good choice. Oh, good choice. You come again. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in 61 revives just to make sure we get through this. Huh. Lots of random upgrades, okay. Whatever. So, with these, I will do luck up for the other character. Spirit and strength, maybe? I'm hoping that she'll eventually become tanky magic-wise by repeatedly raising her spirit. And then luck will just go to him, because that seems to influence his damage. So this is just basically like free level ups on him. And then our main character strength up will let us carry. I guess I could save and identify the item just to see if anything changes. I don't think it will, though. If it gives me the lucky dice or whatever, I'm just resetting. Yeah. Well, I apparently missed a treasure chest here. So super, super unfortunate. I don't think I have the other class ability. I'm just making sure I don't have it if I look at it. Yeah, I got the Dragon Band. I got one. Now I have one of everything almost on hand except for the one that she needs. So stupid. I did. Oh, was it up on the. Oh, it was on the floor. Never mind. Okay, Honey Elixir, whatever. So yeah, there's, there's definitely just like a huge, huge AI problem with this game. And I think a lot of it stems from the fact that like, you can't choose how, like what spells they use specifically. And you can't choose, you could sort of choose how aggressive they are with spells, but they don't seem to follow that in a way that really makes sense. Where like I told them to basically go all out and they're not really going all out with their techniques. Because more often than not, they're at like 90% of their MP or like higher is still being held in reserve. But I think if you look at games like, uh, honestly, even Secret of Mana of like distance versus approach, it's missing that toggle to tell them whether or not to go in or not. Like there's one where it's like protect and support abilities, but that's not quite the same. And I think with them, like, not being able to go, like, full defensive, it's kind of annoying. And plus, I can't change it mid-battle, which is also a thing that exists in things like Tales, where the game does not expect you to know the right strategy going into it to be successful. And I think that's where it's, like, really struggling in terms of keeping the AI alive. Because, like, in other kinds of games that deal with parties, you at least have, like, the command to potentially tell them to block or jump as like a universal ability. 
And from the standpoint of my control over them, it's not great. Like, I don't mind manually telling them to do abilities if I feel like they're not being aggressive enough, but like, I can't make them dodge everything. So without the ability to say like, focus on defense, go pure, whatever, it's not really great. Like, I put them in, like, Protection is Paramount, for example, and he dies just as quickly as the character on attack, which to me is very silly. And she's not even at the most aggressive setting either. Mmm, do I bother with an upgrade here? I feel like I don't. Well, I have a wide variety of weapons from you to your yeah, I don't think so. Come again? Maybe, maybe at the... Well, actually, chat, you know what? We'll put it up to a vote. Should I even bother getting armor to beat this game? Should I just beat the game without ever upgrading armor? I mean, I, I, I don't count the accessories we came across along the way. We gotta do something about this wind statue. Remember how it works! Oh, game. No armor. Yeah, we could beat in no armor. Oh, these enemies actually leveled. Okay, leave it to me. Dodge this. Don't think I want to fight this soldier. We're gonna ignore him. Dangerous. I don't seem to have, like, a really good air combo still, which is a bit unfortunate. I hate to pick on such weak targets, but... I'll take down the enemy. Goodbye. <laughs> so, I used basically the equivalency of three bars and ended with two. That seems fair. Okay. Let's proceed for now. All of us together. <laughs> CS is almost back up to 300. I can make a difference. Uh, his luck score still matters. Cuz the more often he crits, the better he is. So hopefully there is a small upgrade here. Hmm. There is not. That's a little concerning then. Oh, now I can see all the different dungeons. That's what I was looking for earlier. Hmm. Cascade Cavern. What was Cascade Cavern? Oh, it's where the... Yeah, okay. I think we have to go back to Cascade Cavern anyway at some point. I'll check that out before we finish the game. See if they put anything where the Full Metal Hugger was. Yeah, this fight I remember being Look, very annoying. The Nevadon! In... In the sky! So we I think we're after to fly on the dragon's back. <laughs> angry angry dragon summoning. So this is gonna be interesting. I think I swapped into Earth Claw earlier. I hope I did. I did not. I thought I did that before. Hey, where's my Drake skill? Oh, because I took it off for the other items. Oh, I don't have strength up on this fight. Oh, that's going to be annoying. I forgot I did that. My bad. Uh, well, on the plus side, should still be able to do decent damage here. 
That did an insane amount of damage to me. I was not expecting that. Uh, I might need to restart this boss battle. What is this nonsense? Uh... Okay. But sadly, I don't have, uh, stat-ups here. Oh, he just cutscene escaped me. Cool. Appreciate that. Ugh. Oh, trials, come on. One of my allies has to dodge, please. This is so stupid. Man. We are getting gimmicked so hard right now, Chad. It is unreal. I'm probably going to take damage and die here. Holy, the gimmicks are unreal. I don't think she defense listed correctly. Okay, so, so that was, again, more challenging than it should have been. I love, I love they just didn't, they did not help. Again, I don't think they know how to deal with more than one target very well, and let alone dodging. They, they have no chance of dodging. That's like Mission Impossible, Chad. They were not dodging that. And to be fair, like, the sweep attack was somewhat annoying because the, it was so wide, I wasn't entirely sure where I could walk on the dragon since it forced me to go to a different part of the same arena. Is left. The Benevidon of Darkness. This is it. But we don't know where the Darkstone is. Uh, not good. Benevidon will get more powerful if we don't find it. Soon. I need new equipment. Too worn out. It won't stand a chance. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I saw someplace interesting while we were riding on Flammy. It was west of Buka Island. It's hard to describe, but I felt some strange aura there. Okay, in the SNES version, we went there and then we couldn't do anything. Are you, is the game actually going to let us do something here? Remember that last time, Chad? It was like, oh, I guess we better come back when we get all the other ones. And I'm like, gee, thanks. Why don't we take a look? You never know. It might be important. It better let me actually do something here in this version of the game. I'm already annoyed about the class skill stuff. Also. Um, cutscene? Cutscene? Worth a try. What what was that? Uh why is my controller not being input? I mean I'll hit enter on the keyboard. Did did you forget I'm using a controller? Hello? Let's unplug, replug. Magic. <laughs> Alright, chat, just absolute magic. What is this? Oh, it's Harpy and Zombies. Guess that's fine. Wish never with us. Let's build a little meter. Run. 
What happened to the music, by the way? Did, did I break the game? Where's the sound? I hear, like, the attack sounds, but, like, there's no music. Unless this area is supposed to be mute, which I guess is a choice. Okay, so now their health is starting to outscale my damage. So we should definitely get a weapon soon after this. Silver item acquired, not good enough. Hmm. Let the game think about it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go back to the area. I just want to double check. Oh, this isn't I guess I guess Gus Gus Hall is quiet. I didn't really noticed before. It's fine. Yeah, it was weird. It just kind of dropped my controller input for a while. So I have a lot of healing items. I'd, I'm glad I went back, because I actually would have been pretty low on medicinal herbs. I would have been at like 18-ish for the rest of the game, which it depends on what ailment it is and how horrible that is. Um... So we should probably go to the capital city. It's interesting the Cascade Falls doesn't show up on the map for some reason. Just hearing the words ancient capital. I'm gonna ignore whatever they're blathering about. I'm like, listen. <laughs> like, that that does, I don't care what they're talking about the ancient capital. It does not matter. It's not relevant. Okay, got everything there. I just want to make sure, did I miss anything in the Cascade Caverns? Because I was just thinking, like, we went back to here, for example, and there were little cactuses, but I never went back to where the Full Metal Hugger was. I think chat would agree. So it's possible there is one here. Oh, they actually got a kill, that's kind of funny. Because I think we've revisited everywhere but here. And if this one has a cactus, this will make me feel better. It does. Okay. We should work together. Next. <laughs> so I was I think I was supposed to get this one much earlier in the game. Don't get too comfortable though. More candies acquired, chat. Hmm. The question is, where do we go in here? Could be in there, maybe at the bottom. Oh, or it's or it's right there. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess that answers it. <laughs> at least there's not a big mystery as to where it is. So let's get this one and move on. So our CS is mostly fine. The area is clear of threat. So, if the, so the capital city might have one. The second to final dungeon might have one. Final dungeon might have one, and then or, and or it could be a mana sanctuary. So I think that's that's one per area potentially. That might be it. Do not let easy targets cloud your judgment. <laughs> How is she so injured? <laughs> I just realized. I was like, wait a minute, she's like 200 HP. She's getting wrecked over there, chat. So yeah, the MP conversion thing makes more sense for Angela. So if I play with her playthrough, at least it seems like if I have a mostly MP focused team, might be able to get through there. And funny enough, cost, using HP to heal with Charlotte would also be kind of funny once I get group heal. There's not really a downside. So we're going to keep an eye out for the last couple of areas and hopefully we're back on track with all the cactus things. I'm hoping the, the reward for getting all 50 is worth it. I do think some of the early rewards were actually pretty decent, so... 
Hopefully it maintains that. So sad we can't go back to the tomato village. Oh my gosh, they go so fast. So we'll keep an eye out for chests. I think I've acquired most of them at this point. Including some backpacks for them. <gasps> Silver item seeds. Oh yeah. Reminds me. Oh, this increases money gain. I don't really have any purpose for money anymore unless I just want to buy a lot of bumpkins. Which honestly, maybe I do. Maybe I just buy nine bumpkins. And make the other guy spam it. Because it's as strong as his spell. Except it's a consumable. And honestly, Hand Axe is also pretty good. Maybe. So let's put our strength up back on here. I guess I can leave Hand Axe in for now. And Bumpkin. make it nighttime. So that way we can benefit from the werewolf damage. Fortunately, when we play as the other characters, I will not need to really take that with me unless we select Kevin again. Because day-night doesn't really matter to us, I don't think. So this time around, it seems like they didn't mention it early, which is good, because I think one of the cats mentioned it. And possibly they did mention it earlier. I was kind of ignoring one of their initial dialogues. Really? It should be here. Huh. Maybe we should rest somewhere before we search. Two golden item seeds. Hmm. Extra money. Looking to see if a little cactus was around here somewhere. Okay, so I can walk in the water here. Did I look over here? Let's see anything? So we've got another treasure chest, it seems. Oh, there's no little cactus here. Never mind. Go to the inn then. Welcome. Like how we talked to nothing in there. At least we could go back to sleep for free, I guess. Hmm. Oh, there's no item box here for the seeds. Interesting. This time there is a little cactus. Okay. What happened? The far north and the sea west of Altina is Dragon Island. Dragon Lord you've heard about lives in the Crystal Desert, which covers half the island. Dragon is scarily strong, he's smarter than human, and that's not all. He even plans to level Peta to get rid of stores of weapons and equipment. So we heard reference to him before. I think if we choose the other story path Outside is involving uh what interest ya? Oh, that's a pretty big damage increase. If we use Duran, I think we might actually see the I had wanted this. remainder of that story. Oh, he didn't auto-equip that. That's awkward. Come again. Try this again. Anyway, this should be a pretty big damage jump for us. Held off on one weapon, which made one of the fights slightly harder. Oh, Lucky Card's an accessory for him that just gives defense. 
I don't think I care about that. Outside is different. What happened? Hey Chad, I think outside is different. It's a medicine scholar here, you know. Have you seen him yet? Outside is different. The jungle vision to the west of Pettis so dense it's like a maze. Careful you don't get lost in there. There's a large castle deep in the jungle called Mirage Palace, but the foliage has gotten too thick to reach it lately. Okay, so I think that's where we have to go. Is different. Outside is different, Chad. What happened? That is best known for our gear and weapons. Take a look while you're here. This city is as strange as I heard. This city is as strange as I heard. <laughs> We're gonna be hearing that loop for a little bit. We can find a lead on the Benevadon of Darkness here. Huh. I would have thought this would have been the room it wanted me to go to. Outside may be different. Oh, oh, is there a class seed? Are you finally going to give me my other ability or are you just going to mess with me? It only took to literally defeating basically every Benevadon. And I can't even check it here. That's the worst part. I'm rolling my eyes, Chad. That better be the last class ability. Stupid how long that took. Chest. Hmm. Talk to the little kid. <laughs> hey, Chad, let's look at all the armor I'm not going to purchase. Welcome. Come, take a look. I mean, that would be like a 40% increase, potentially, a defense. Oh, well. Saw the fairy with Prince Richard. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, maybe it wants me to go down there. Hmm. I didn't see a little cactus anywhere yet. You see the prophecy? I don't really get to be old man takes care. Oh, the prophecy tablet statue thing. That's right, that's right. Oh, there's a little cactus. So we're three away from having the, the ultimate ability. his prophecy about the world's end you can't read it fine i will interpret the text for you the world will fall to ruin the tree will wither the sword will be corrupted and despair will reign in the masked man's domain but three heroes The rest of the stone was broken off. I'm sure it further describes the world's destruction at the hand of a masked villain. But we needn't worry yet. Besides, it has nothing to do with me. Okay, so now I think the building to the left will have the guy we need to talk to. So I believe instead of the Dark Palace, we'll be going to Mirage Palace. So there could be between one and two... Uh, cactus sightings, potentially in this dungeon, and potentially one in the final dungeon. Oh, well, yes, I am a Mana Stone Scholar. <clears throat> there were once eight Mana Stones, but alas, <laughs> with the Dark Stone lost, there are only seven. However, after exhaustive research, I have concluded that the Dark Stone could be in the Jungle of Visions, west of Petoff. Next, Jungle of Visions. Okay, so I think because we have picked Kevin slash Charlotte, we, yeah, alas, I don't know why he said it like that. But I think now that we have that, Instead of going to the Night Cavern like we did in the SNES version, we now can go to the jungle. So last time we kind of went there, but couldn't go very far. The game is teaching me about shortcuts. Shut up, game. 
<laughs> right, chat? No thanks. I'd rather it actually pause the game while I select, to be honest with you. It has become Jungle of Visions. I actually want to leave and see what the seed is. Jungle of Visions. Like the scholar said, time to look for the dark stone. <laughs> I just leave immediately, Chad. I'm like, I'm, I'm out of here. Will I finally get the thing I've been holding out for? If it does anything that improves debuffs, I will be happy. But I'm still very mad at the game for wasting my time and not allowing me to... Oh, I can't identify there. And not allowing me the simplistic swapping of classes. I don't feel like I'm asking for much. I've actually... I've gotten, like, literally triple the number of seeds the SNES version. Remember that, chat. I only got two seeds, I think, that entire other playthrough. No, no, I got three, but two were the same. Small correction. Welcome. I'm gonna rest until evening, so we don't have to worry about that for later. I'm gonna save, and it better give me my upgrade, dot, 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 dot. Oh, finally. That was way more difficult than that should have been. Oh, it gave me an armor? Oh. Oh, that's funny. I don't even think I'd want it. I mean, for Chad, I'm not going to equip it, but I am curious. That is such a big defense increase. Wow, chat. Literally buying armor pointless. <laughs> you get them anyway. Okay, we're leaving. I want this upgrade, chat. She is she has not been outputting damage. Her class strike level two is okay, but it has been horribly, horribly outscaled by every other party member. So like she does like a thousand total with the strike. We do, like, 3,000 with ours, comparatively. Just just so that you're aware, she fell off real hard. So I need her to kind of step it back up. So let's go here. Finally, finally go here and get our class ability. That was dumb how long that took. And that was with a... Remember, chat, that was also with getting a random bonus seed. It took until literally... <laughs> Literally the second to last dungeon of the game to finally get a class that I want. These guys are so dead. Get out of my way. We must be getting a lot of stamina on level up naturally because these enemies are doing literally nothing to me. Hold on, let's take a look briefly. Yeah, see, I'm at 100 stamina and I never touched it. So I think our raw levels have given us enough defense to not care about armor. Yeah, yeah, but never done a darkness. Yeah, yeah. Be quiet, AI. Let's go to Reese. Try to switch your class. Yeah, this whole thing was not necessary. It should have just let me go here without her telling me to switch my class. Like, why do you think I'm here, you idiot? So anyway, let's. Well, she's got like the wolf on her shoulder. Also, I just noticed. Why is she in such skimpy clothing? <sighs> Enix, please. I'm too busy looking in the bottom right for the stats and skills to observe her character model. I will switch her to that class. I will not use that outfit. Ridiculous. Put on some armor. You're a Valkyrie. Not like going to a day trip to the beach. Yeah, the wolf head is interesting. Everything else is like... Did she run out of budget for her outfit? What happened? Yeah, like, Dragon Master is fine. It's, it's a little questionable in places, but it looks like real armor. This one. Can't say the same. Oh, you can skip this. Okay, good. <laughs> Raging Fury is how I felt getting this stupid seed to unlock. Okay, was it worth the wait? What are we about to receive for this?
FPS. Cancel the allocation. I just want to view what it is. Base attack increased by 30, defense decreased by 30. That's actually really good, potentially, to give to an ally. I'll think about that. Damage dealt by enemy targeting the player decreased by 20%. I'm not looking for a tank. Summon monster deals damage to enemies in the area. 590 power? What? Stat decrease from move increased by 7%. Okay. So I think I probably want super stat down again. AoE stat down is interesting. At 50% when stat is decreased with move. Maybe. That could be good. What about luck? 30% chance stat decrease from move increasing by 7%. I don't know if I care about that. 60% chance of magic attack and magic defense decreasing with crit strike. So she could be like a debuffer. Okay. I probably want super stat down pretty much immediately. I'm gonna hold off on equipping her with an ability. Let's go back and then give her more spirit. I don't know if increasing to 33 spirit matters at all, because these are just stat downs. 27 might be an ideal number to put in. And I can put the rest into strength, maybe? Because I don't care about luck. Definitely don't want stamina. It might help for spell damage, but I think I need her to generically be useful. So I'll try something like this. So this increases her overall damage. That is... She even has a tail? What is going on? Anyway, back to Rune Maiden. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, I don't know I want to play with that outfit. Uh, let's see. I probably want... Hmm... I thought she had another ability. Okay, so I could get super stat down. She's got both currently, which is good. Uh, do I want anything else in here? Like extra HP? Charge attack damage increased by 30%? Maybe. I don't see the AI usually use it though. Somebody's already equipped with that. I guess she didn't get the other ability I was really looking for. So what I could do is give her more HP. She dies really quickly. Also, she went from 793 HP to 933. So she actually ended up kind of tanky. Even if you subtract 60 from the other ability, 840 put her above Hawkeye. That's interesting. So now her move set. Let's take a look at her moves. So without increasing the cost, she just gets an AoE debuff. And she is like a super spell, potentially, to damage enemies. I don't know how good the summons are in the game. Guess we can use her. If they're bad, that could be bad for us. Actually, how does she use the other summon? Wait, how do you use it? What? Am I missing something? Did I... I unlocked it, right? Why wasn't it in my normal move pool? It's listed as a spell. That's also listed as a spell. Hmm. I, like, I want to see what it is, but I don't see how to use it. Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize it was... I forgot we had a fourth spell. That makes more sense. Okay, so let's go use it, see what the damage is like.
Okay, so she's got a nuke button now, kind of. Yeah, I want to basically upgrade to broken lines too, whenever I can. His stuff is done. I could give him stamina if I really want to, but I don't really want to. Um, I don't know how badly I care about Int unless I want to buff her damage with that. I think it makes more sense to give her Strength 10 for her other abilities. And then I guess I could focus on this, unless I want the other one more. Actually, I think I want the other one more. Well... Actually, you know what? Let's just, let's just buff her magic damage at this point. I just want more abilities that just end the fight. I think that's more important to me at this point. So I guess we'll try to beat the game. I don't have work tomorrow, so I'll, j I'll just keep going. I think we got a good out of it. It's gonna take probably about an hour of fight, I guess. Because we're gonna deal with this dungeon, and then we have to go to the true final dungeon. And then that's it. So yeah, her getting AoE debuffs is actually pretty huge. I wish I would have had that when we were fighting the multi-parts, like the forest boss. Being able to debuff the heads and the main body would have saved a lot of time. I do agree with Chad's comment from earlier I meant to mention. She she still just sounds like Starfire most of the time. There's two cactus sightings, okay. Game. Thank you. She didn't kill it. There we go. Her damage is okay. I'm kind of sad that the game just used my meter though. When there was only one left. So sad. Hmm. Let's go this way. Okay. Leave it to me. I basically just want to feed him kills. Oh, I'm not able to strike him when he's in the air. That makes more sense. Oh, she was using her summon. I was wondering what was happening there. Which is fine. I don't care if she does that. Fairy Walnuts. That's good. I need that for the end of the game, I think. So let's see. We have a very big area to explore. Where do we think the items are? Where do we think the cactus is? What's the Zable ring? Oh, half stark damage. Uh, sure we'll be okay. A nice little heal. Continue down to the southwest. Ooh, it's one of those fights. Mm. Wow, I didn't break his guard. That sucks. Please break his guard. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so the game did get harder. Oh, there's a little cactus. 
Convenient. I'm a force to be reckoned with. Hawkeye leveling is good for us. Hmm. Ooh, there's a whole area to the northeast I didn't go to. Let's go there first. And that'll be the last of our exploration, I think. So we're basically done with the game. I don't need money. I could just use one of the cookies just because. Got several throwable weapons. I have super heal. Which I could put in my inventory for the next boss. I'm kind of thinking about it. You know what? Let me do that now. I don't think I care about the XP boosts. Let's go ahead and... We got enough buffs for the rest of the game. I'm going to put the AoE heal in place of this. So we have 12 heals. AI at most can use... Six. Or no, they can only use, I think, I'm um, sorry, four? So that way they go down to five items each. So that would leave me with eight AoE heals for the final boss. Which I think is okay. <gasps> oh my, you don't see many people in these parts. They care when you go through the jungle. They don't call it the Jungle of Visions for nothing. It's like this place has a mind of its own. It makes you see things. Don't let it get to your head, you'll end up going in circles. Forever. Oh, I swear I keep going around in circles. Gotta go by is the statue. What is it for, anyway? Okay. Do I investigate the statue? It faces this way, so if I face this way, do I make progress? Or does it just send me back? Okay, so it's not based off of the statue's facing. It's not based off the statue going over there. I'm just gonna pick a path, see what happens. So not there. Unless maybe it's go the path with the monster of the statue? Which is possible. Well, now that I'm low on HP, I do more damage. That's disappointing. So let's see if this is the right path. Okay. Rabbite, swords, healing? Hmm. So based off this, since I didn't see any other statue, I'll just go the path of the rabbites. That rabbite is super dead. So I'm at the point where leveling basically never happens anymore, so I think we will probably beat the game this way. Let's go in the middle here. Wizards. Wizard BS. Let's go the path of the rabbites. Dangerous. So we've caught up to the level of the area. Hmm. I don't think I really want to fight these still. I really hope there weren't any hidden items here, because I feel like I'm not going to find them. Well, I mean, I'm still going to go the path of the rabbi. I think I could get most of my meter back here. So that was worth it for me. See, so yeah, without the triple XP occurring, I don't think it's really worth it. Thank you, Imperameter, for the good luck. 
think we finally got out of the maze at least. Okay, leave it to me. Dodge this. Open it. Made some progress. Just looking to see anything's around here. Not seeing any prompts. Don't see anything over there. Let's go to the other side. Maybe there's a cactus over here. Nope. Golden shiny though. Treasure chest. Golden item seed that I don't even know is worth redeeming at this point. Hmm. anything yet. I'm a little worried I'm about to trigger the plot. I'd really prefer not to. I could avoid it. Uh, uh, I could trigger the plot. Look, there. The dark stone. But why? Unfortunate. Watch out! So I don't have the light item on with me, but I do have random throwables. So a little unfortunate. I was hoping I could get by there without triggering the boss battle. I mean, at least I have the strength skills with me. So it's not the worst situation we've been in. I just would have liked to have grabbed anything that was on the other side there. Now we're going to fight, I believe, Triple Head here. So at least the AI now has AoE options, question mark. And now... Now, permanent debuffs and hitting both saves a lot of time here. So them potentially magic downing and defense downing would be pretty big here. So let's do some light damage here. Let's remove their magic damage or defenses, I think. Ooh, they grabbed me. Okay. So build a little extra CS, which isn't bad. have you do light attack decrease defense uh, should be fine good bumpkin one of them so they absorb that I'm gonna do that to dodge the evil gate, and I think that was a good call. I jumped that and that still hit me? That sucks. Allies, please. Please don't let this hit me. 
Thank you. Let's use her ability. Big damage, nice. Fight over, I think. Goodbye. That wasn't too bad. Goodbye, Rita Repulsa. We did not let your monsters grow. So, I think there's just one boss left in the game. Maybe two? But there's only one dungeon left, I'll put it that way. Reappearing in this realm must have triggered the portal to the sanctuary. Oh, oh no. Oh no. It was a trap. Huh? And enemies absorb the powers of each of the eight benevodons after we defeated them. Oh, that means they have the complete combined powers of all the monsters. We are so bad at our jobs. Uh, so, everything we did helped the enemy get stronger? No! We can't lose like this! Our party sucks to be able to do in the world, yeah. Pretty much. So yeah, then we might have to fight Gormond, and then we'll fight the true villain, question mark, the mass mage or whatever. I was literally about to open an item chest. Hmm. More revives. Oh, there's a little cactus. I was getting worried. I wasn't seeing him anywhere. The down to just one chat. So it could be in the here or it could be the mana sanctuary. Why did he leap so far away from the enemy? What was that? Imp, please. Nice debuffs. Goodbye, random companion thing. Let's switch one of our items out to... Since we got a little bit of traveling to do. Hmm. Something like this. I don't think I care about money at all. I'm just gonna burn the cookies for the sake of burning the cookies between now and the end of the game. Don't really care if it lines up with the boss battle. 
just want to level a bit just to make sure we have some raw stats for the boss. This looks suspiciously like immediately like another boss arena, so never mind. Ignore that. <laughs> just immediately like four blue urns. I don't trust that. So let's try to get a... Let's get a safety dispel. Do light damage, maybe? I think that'll cover us pretty well. So we still have most of our healing, correct? From the... Wait, where is that considered? Yeah, we still have 12 of these. Well, I mean, like, I have okay CS. It's not like it's at zero, but it could be a little better. Uh, can I fight something really quick just to build a bit of meter? Missed an item over here, so nothing else we can keep that. Yeah, just need, like, one encounter. I think I'm good. Oh, now you don't mass respawn enemies? Right, chat? Whatever. Remember earlier when I was going through the maze and they were just instantly back? Remember that, chat? Whatever. Apparently, they just refuse to respawn. Whatever. Take that random green urn. Oh, well. I would have liked to have put myself close to 300% with a uh, hawk and then leave the battle. I think his 200% ability is good for crowds. His 300% is decent for bosses. His 100% is just use the dodge attacks that are annoying. I guess I could train up a little more. her spell damage a little bit. Maybe it'll scale decently for the final area. It was doing okay damage, so just a little more doesn't hurt. It's a dead end. Oh, how strange. I could have sworn the palace we saw was this direction. Plus, there was no other path. Oh, try using that mirror we found. Supposedly it has mysterious powers. It could help. Mirror? Uh, this? <laughs> Too bright! Oh, you saw through my trick. I was going to take you all out quietly. After all, you destroyed the Benevidons. <laughs> I'm afraid you're of no use to us now. Oh, but you are in for a treat. With all eight powers combined, the Masked Mage can now consume the Benevidons' essence completely. When he said that, I just thought Captain Planet, Chad. We, we resurrected oh, evil Captain Planet. Wait to behold his monstrous shape. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so sorry you won't get to see it. <laughs> Why, you ask? Well, because I'm going to dispatch you all and suck up your soul. Villain! <laughs> I just want him to be targetable. See if I could get her to nuke everything. That's not what I wanted, but I dodged it. It's been a veritable feast. 
Though I must say, his majesty didn't make it easy on me. Keep hitting his weakness, that's brutal. And your friends in will not lose. Watch smash you and get all the souls in your stomach out. Okay, I did some decent damage. No mercy. No mercy indeed. Let's use a light buff on ourselves. Have you heal yourself real quick? Oh, I thought he was done. I right, stop hopping around so I can kill you. Oh, he leaped right as I pressed it. That sucked. I don't pay attention to the AI for like five seconds and they're dead again. Okay. I like I'm not the one fighting the boss and somehow the AI is almost dead again. Oh, that hit me unexpectedly. So I'm going to pump strength. I'm going to raise light damage again. Please don't kill me instantly. What's going on? You okay? Did you seriously take out my best character? Seriously? Oh, that's so annoying. Wow. Ah, must be something that guy did. Hang on, I've got you. Allow me. On it. <laughs> so dumb, chat. Nice. I think that killed him. No mercy indeed. Trying to stop me in time. What a jerk. How could you? This isn't the last of me. Ah, I'm sure we will meet again. <laughs> Thought a Gormund has granted you a new ability? What's the new ability? Add random status increase when enemy defeated. Eh. I don't think that really matters with where we are in the game. Let's increase our luck for more crits. I don't know if there's another class rank. It looked like there was, but I don't see how we would possibly get to it currently. We need one more level up to increase our uh, summon damage. And then the rest will go towards getting attacker. Because I don't super care about her strength, but having that ability could be useful. Um, get rid of one of these. I didn't really have to dispel so far.
So I missed a treasure chest somewhere. Whatever. It's probably in the jungle of visions and one of them. I, I don't feel like finding it. So let's enjoy the bonus experience. Maybe that'll give her the ability to do slightly more with her melee. I think she was doing okay melee damage. She seems to like spamming Hexus. So it getting a buff is probably more important. So we'll fight it until the buff wears off, and then we'll consume it again, and then just continue forward. Mirage Palace. Huh. I see. Kind of foreboding, isn't it? Bad people trying to destroy the world are here. It is unwise to get in our way. Ouch. Yeah, you gotta look. You gotta look out for that villain. Dialogue is a little special. Okay, we both have some CS, which I think is good. Yo, she had enough. Encounter over. This must be Mirage Palace. I can feel an evil presence from deep within the area. I bet the Sword of Mana is in there too. Wait! No path! Where do we go? Start by searching the area. There has to be something that will give us a lead. Hmm. Find a way to progress. What a bother. I didn't know how to enter the Mirage Palace. Perhaps that strange shiny gate holds a clue, but I do not want to go near it. Okay. No way forward. So there are no little cactuses here. So if there's not one at the Mana Sanctuary, it means I missed one somewhere. Hmm. Okay, I can at least go this way. There's a chest down there. I'm gonna start by going this way first. We're in Charlotte's area, which is kind of funny because she's not here. So, oops. Temple of Light. What? We teleported. Yeah, let's talk to the priest here. My, I am so glad to see you are all safe. After all, if you had sustained injury along the way. I wouldn't be able to enjoy hurting you myself! No, perish! <laughs> Old man's looking a little different. So I'm at 200% CS. She's also doing pretty well. Rainbow item seed? Oh no. I was gonna say, yeah, old man got upgraded. So I guess we go through the different doors. We're going through our, our false memories. We light it up. It looks like we got six more rooms to go. Based off the lights. It is unwise to get Oh, I didn't do enough damage. Hydra zombie, there you go. So if I had more anti-undead stuff here, I think it would have been helpful. 2,000 money, literally pointless. Move freely, chat. Try chatting with your party if you see them around town. How? Uh, huh. So 
now we're back in Charlotte's area again. It's doing like another 300 damage thanks to the class up. The class up did matter. That was the last of them. We're about to level again, which is nice. Although this is a bad encounter. I think I might skip this one. It's more the flying enemies than the uh, Caterpies. Oh, are we straight up getting a real boss fight? Oh. That's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate because I would have swapped stuff around a little bit. Well, we are here now. What is it even targeting over there? Let's go ahead and debuff its stats. Fortunately, I'm immune to poison, so I don't have to worry about that at all. <sighs> it wasn't damageable during that, that sucks. is not what I wanted to target. Oh well. AI putting me in kill range as usual. once. Why don't you then throw an axe? Why don't you increase magic damage? Let's strength up this. Well, time to throw a million axes, right chat? Until this thing dies. I mean, it's doing a lot of damage. That's always good. So fortunately, he's sparing us some of this nonsense. too soon. That was player error on that one. Did it somehow get rid of defense down? That's weird. I don't think it should have been able to do that. Whatever. 
Yeah, it did somehow cancel its own defense down. Unless my defense down overwrites her permanent defense down, in which case that really sucks. Wow, I was locked in place. There's literally nothing I could have done. I, I was mashing that dodge, it never came. So sad. Almost killed it. I'm gonna try not. Well, I can kill with the class strike. I guess it's fine for him to use that. I just don't want to use their class strikes. So suddenly, boss. <laughs> right, chat? Oops. We should get the bonus XP from this, if nothing else. And that might have net me my final bit of abilities that I wanted. So at this point, levels I don't think matter at all, because I'm already capped at my major stats. So my damage is going to fall off a little bit towards the end. But yeah, that boss was really awkward to fight, just because... Again... Its weakness was in the air, and our allies basically never targeted the weakness. Which is kind of lame. I don't think spirit matters at all, unless I went magic resistance. I think I just want raw attack power. So she just does more when she's not using spells. Let us work together to <laughs> Victory is easy with reliable companions. Oh. Um, I don't want to use him for training anything. I could technically give him something if I really wanted to. I'd probably want Spirit for magic defense. Let's make him a little tankier. So I'm feeling most of the things that are going to hit us are going to be spells and not anything else. Trouble? Didn't quite level Hawkeye. So close. So we're at a character. We have a character with over a thousand health right now. So I'm I guess maybe the bonus health is helping them? Question mark. I'll probably take the defense down on my main character. Oh, what the? Bonk. My potential feels limitless. Actually, I had a curiosity. What are our stats like after a few level ups? Assuming, yeah, it pauses the timer when we're in the menu. Okay, so we went up like 7 8 stamina. His luck, his luck is 181. That's pretty crazy. We should work together to defeat this threat. Oh, that assassin is ultra dead. That was not needed. You know what? Let's get more money in case I want to get some, some something at the end.
we use our last little XP up for later. I probably want to get a couple of Poto potions for the end of the game. Although so far we didn't burn through many, which is good. Because AoE heal is nice. I don't think I want to fight this. Ooh, she activated it really out of range. That's unfortunate. Victory is easy with reliable companions. This is my fight. No need to trouble Nice, easy kill. And again, as long as I get roughly a hundred beater after every fight, it should be good. Think I really want to fight you? Yeah, no thanks. Uh oh, it's Carl. Carl? Carl went that way. Hang on a second. Why would he be? Oops, I got teleported back to the beginning. That's rude. Well, Carl baited me back here, chat. Fortunately, we have fast escape, so this could be much worse. Okay. Get some healing. So what's going to stop us now? Is it Gormond? Is it going to be somebody new? Oh, the door boss is rematched here? Ew! Ew! Oh, not this boss! Oh, that is really not good. Do you have any weaknesses that I should know about? I don't have any ice damage for this fight. I guess I should have seen it coming, but ugh. I did not save recently. This is gonna be a little rough. Okay, let's get your magic damage down for sure. And then why don't we throw something at you? I know, not the door. So she did big damage because he was stunned. I'm trying to eliminate the enemies so our allies actually focus on the real damage dealer. it and then our allies are too stupid to heal so they died thanks allies my right, chat I, I really appreciate them just never healing never dealing with the enemy I'm literally the one fighting the boss I don't know what they're doing off screen I like to just point out that I think I'm the only person attacking the boss <laughs> why is this happening Uh, 
I lost my strength buff, but we should be fine. Killed the boss. Well, at least my damage is really good this time because they they helped a little bit with the enemies, but man, they did not attack the boss. So that goes into my previous complaint where they just don't know how to prioritize targets. I mean, we I think I saw Hawk attack maybe five, six hits that whole fight. It was literally me just mashing the like 4X triangle or whatever it is repeatedly for the rapid slices and just chaining my class strike over and over again. That is a lot of bosses we have to fight. I really don't want to fight this encounter. Oh, I can't escape. Cute. Thousand damage, not bad. Victory is easy with reliable companions. Oh, did you see that? I was still getting the XP bonus, even though the XP thing expired. Is it because I did the incense earlier? Well, that seems like a bug. Oh well, I guess, <laughs> I guess to no one's surprise, I, I found something that probably wasn't supposed to behave that way. Whoops, the money thing gives me XP while it's active. So I'll go this way first. It kind of sucks that there's no gold statue here, and it's just like repeatedly annoying battles back to back. Hmm. Let's use regular candy on her. Yeah, I don't care about burning candies here. That's what they're for. Alright, what horrible boss am I now gonna refight, right, chat? Like, holy. We're gonna refight Ludger? Oh, jeez, oh, come on. Alright, let's not fight that enemy then. I need to conserve meter. Tower. Know this tower. The one with the moonstone, right? Please don't make me go through the whole tower. Okay, well, it's certainly a boss-a-thon. Way more than I was expecting. I was expecting unique bosses and maybe one repeat boss. Hey, more monsters! When are they going to give it a rest? Won't stop! Not over until we beat evil for good! Okay. Save my CS. Just gotta kill a couple of them. We're apparently in a melee a thon. Moon coin attained, chocolate attained. Oh, is that it? Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll take that. You get to kill baby Luger, baby. Maybe that one was just forced encounters? I guess that one was just forced encounters. That, that's fine, I guess. I mean, I was hoping not all of them were bosses, so that's probably for the best. Let's do a safety candy here. I haven't really had the ability to just full restore on the uh, statues yet. So our MP is actually getting somewhat low on some of the characters. Finally. 
something feels really wrong all of a sudden. Oh no. Thinking this is no ordinary cave. Probably a trap. Walk carefully. Don't set it off. Oh no, chat. Are we gonna fight Full Metal Hugger? I can't believe I actually out-leveled the enemies. Thank you, bonus XP. I don't like that she used her bonus there, but that's fine. Fight is over, chat. Okay, so we're at max luck, so my crit chance is maxed. He can continue to get more strength, which is relevant. I could equip the stat down on somebody. I guess I could get rid of broken lines now, since it doesn't matter as much, and maybe lower my own defense for more damage. Build meter for the team here. Getting stronger. Oh, I got trolled when I went to go open the chest. Just a super mimic. That's fine. I could probably stunlock you. All of us, Why did he turn? I didn't even tell him to do that. What a jerk. Oh well. At least he rebuilt some meter. So we Oh, never mind. No full metal hugger. It's so goofy looking. Well, we slapped it in its goofy face and it no longer exists. So I think we got one more door and then we're given permission to go into the palace. Time to work together, everyone. <laughs> Everybody's meter looking pretty good. It's only one place I haven't gone yet. And I can reapply, I think, the coin buff by just XPing up. I, I mean, I guess I might as well as glitch if I know how to glitch. Yeah, no roulette spin, please. Make no mistake. I'm stronger now. All guy leveled, nice. See, so yeah, if we get hit, we're basically gonna die, but I mean that's not <laughs> that's just kind of normal for me. Oh hello. Please help! This monster's loose on the town! I will not budge from this spot until the monsters are gone. I shall simply dance here until you come back and tell me the coast is clear. What a weird statement to say, but sure. Where's Carl? <laughs> Goodbye, other Carl. Oh, I didn't dodge in time. That's fun. Tell this guy to knock it off. Rip Carl, indeed. Victory is easy with reliable companions. Store the MP. Presumably, I just gotta keep talking to them. 
Well, it's them. None of us have destroyed everyone in town. This is the end for us. Dangerous. Goodbye, area. And again, that extra roll attack probably matters a lot for that attack in particular. Oh, did I let it expire? Oh, I let it expire. Oh well. Time to use. Hmm. Looking to see if there's anything else to fight. Doesn't seem like it. I might have killed them all. Let's go back here. So he says, Oh, you've killed them all? Oops, I think you missed some. If only you'd perished along with them, you could have joined us. Oh no, man, was the monster all along, chat. Who would have seen that one coming? I pushed him into the magic attack. That was kind of nice. I think my CS is okay for an upcoming boss fight. It's almost a 200. Bye, Mirage Town. Well, fortunately, I know the Mana Sanctuary is not a very long dungeon. The final boss might take a while. That I'm not sure about. But we are persisting, Chad. I will beat this game tonight. I will save because we haven't done that at all, by the way. I would like to not game over and lose four levels and like eight boss clears of progress. How is there still no way forward? What did I miss? Oh, maybe I have to do something in the middle here. I was like, I was feeling fairly confident. I, I hit all the rooms. Okay, there we go. Yeah, th this better just go straight to the boss. I'm just saying, Chad, there better not be like a whole nother palace after this, because that was a lot of things we had to fight. Oh, finally inside. Too many puzzles. Not good. Should work. Here. Just some quick heals. Stun her so she can't do anything. She raging furied on him. It's kind of messed up. That was not needed. What are these side doors? Like this? All that just for a treasure chest? Okay, leave it to me. Dodge this. Nice, broke their guards. Ouch. Kill you. Get CS off of you. Why did they couple wishes right at the end? Seriously, how many do I have left, by the way? Oh, 57? Never mind, we're good. That's right. I did that mass purchase earlier. All that for 3,700? That was not worth it. I thought there would at least be some interesting items if we went to the side, like a new weapon or like an armor. I mean, I'm not going to use the armor. Oh, there's a save point. So that's good. We recovered our MP. There was a chest over here. I guess I could go see what it is. 
So I'm still am missing a lot of treasure chests, but I don't see them on the map either. That tells me there is... Oh, wait a minute. Oh no. I just noticed it was Mirage Palace 1. Oh no. Well, hopefully it's not too, too many floors once we're in here. Right, chat, please tell me there's not that much more. I beg of you. Let's just explore the sides. I don't really want to fight anything for the most part. Oh. <laughs> right, chat, oh no. Did I really pick the puzzle dungeon? Oh, jeez. We should work together to defeat you. We cannot delay. I think I really did choose the puzzle dungeon. That is so unfortunate. No time. So speaking of ways to lose a lot of time, uh, puzzles would uh, certainly stall out the gameplay. Hmm. I can't seem to go anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kill everything and see if that opens up any other path. Can I interact with this delighted? Oh no, I don't know what it wants me to do. <laughs> I don't see anything to do. There's no switches. I would assume I would have to light this up. If this was SNES, I would have lit it with like a spell. I can't walk here. It's now daytime, so I'm weaker. Do I have to kill every enemy to advance? Ooh, I didn't quite dodge in time. Unfortunate. Like, it seems like I need to do something over there, which is fine. So I'll clear this out, and this this doesn't solve it. I don't know what to do. Oh, there's a shiny thing. That makes more sense. So I just didn't see it the first time I was here. Okay, interrupted her little spell at least. Okay, so now I could go this way. Can't go across here because jumping would make too much sense. Let's go this way. I don't know if that really did anything useful for me, but I did it. Nuisance out of the way before we can go. No time for this. Take down the enemy. Try and catch me. Hmm. Big door. More cups of wishes. Is there anything to interact with over here? Just a shiny. Another walnut. I'll take point and leave the rear to you. Like how they were attacking, even though I wasn't in combat again. Next game. Golden item seeds. I think I actually did the puzzle correctly. Once I realized what it wanted me to do. Should put it in the middle, right? Okay. So then we should probably make it nighttime. So I'm not at a random disadvantage with stats. Candies. Use a probably an incense to stall it. Drake. I probably want light damage if I can get it, but I don't know how much more of these I have. Uh, I guess I don't need flammy drum right now. I can get rid of that for now to try to optimize what things I have for the boss fight.
This is feeling kind of boss arena-ish. Let me pop this. Drops in for 100 floors. I hope not. Hopefully it's not the man contest of uh, Shadow Hearts 2. Oh, we're refighting you? Okay. I mean... Go ahead and get our buffs on. Let's reduce your magic damage as well since we're here. Get away. I did not mean to press that. It was unfortunate. AI walking, uh... Your abilities towards me. Seen to hit it once or twice. There we go. Allow me. There we go. Big damage. Big damage. Wow, this boss is getting destroyed. We almost one cycled that boss. That's pretty intense. I think the trick is to just ignore the attacks and do this to kill the boss faster. Okay. So I have some CS for later. Yeah, Gova. Gova, now that I know not to care about his little Spectre charge, was very easy on the rematch. And plus I have a third party member, which does not help him. So I hit level 60. So we still have nine healing items there, which is good. More seeds. Wait. Oh, switch. Stupid. Why even add that? Right, <laughs> chat? I mean, the door is right there. Why even add that, honestly? Pointless use. Do this. So now we're in the penultimate floor. Mostly just don't want to have combat now. I can avoid it. Pick path. I'll go left first. Don't know if I guessed correctly. Allow me. Okay. Leave it to me. On it. We should work together to defeat this threat. <laughs> It almost got its effect out. It's close. Care of that. Oh, she's pick a path again. Seriously, it is just straight up pick a path. Holy. This is the game design we joke about, chat. Like, this is like unreal. This is actually happening. We have real life pick a path. Well, I guess wrong last time. I guess I picked the other path. Truly, I have been outplayed. Nope, I had to go to the right, apparently. Let's try this again. 
Yeah, oh boy. So it's left, then maybe it's right instead of left again? Screw this area. Ooh, that was a good kill. Such a level multiple people. Oh, especially with that. That's actually huge. So left, right. I built a meter on this fight, actually. Oops. Why is she casting it out of range? What's wrong with her AI chat? I'm just kidding. I know what it is. The AI is bad. <laughs> just... You would think they would have to be in range to cast the spell. It's the bare minimum requirements. Make no mistake. I'm stronger now. So we went left, right, is it center? Oh no, oh there's five! Oh! Peak game design chat. I'm gonna go middle. Of course. Wow. Oh! It wouldn't let me escape there. What? Oh, there's only one teleport? Weird. This was, this was the decision to leave this as is. Chat, they had the ability to revamp everything about the game. You left this in the game? This, this is what they wanted the player to experience? Holy. I guess I'll go far left and see what happens. Nope. Oh, I gotta go the other way, that's right. Riveting gameplay! Best dungeon in the game! Well, we should work together to defeat this- Definitely not a big waste of time! Truly, I am being challenged on many levels of this dungeon. Left, right, I could go s left of middle? And then I'm gonna just choose far right after that and try to hopefully get some progress. Okay, with second left. Stupid. <laughs> right? Like, isn't that just so obnoxious? What a choice. What's in here? Three honey elixirs. Oh, at least my full heals are looking good. So yeah, we ended up with a lot of money at the end of the game to make up for whatever you want to call whatever we are experiencing right now. Um, How many strength ups do I have? I have eight left for the rest of the game because I don't want to go back to the shop. Um, I should probably do dispel magic. I already have it. Um, Absorb HP? Try that, see how it goes. <laughs> you managed to get so far. Bravo. Are you the masked mage? Give back the mana sword! Hmm. What a lively bunch of would-be heroes to have defeated the Benevidons. <sighs> Look how powerful the sword has become now that it is infused with their combined energy. <laughs> this is its true strength. Now I shall absorb this power into my body. I will live forever. An immortal soul stronger than the goddess of mana herself. The perfect being. Behold! I will become a god! Why did he get quieter when he shouted? Sound balancing, please. He's like, behold, I have become a god. Not the sword of <laughs> Uh, so at most we have to fight Tainted Soul, question mark? <laughs> the power will start to flow within me. 
No longer will it channel the goddess's energy. The sword of mana as you know it will be lost forever. You must see the end is inevitable. <laughs> what? surge of light is holding me back it is coming from the sanctuary oh my inside voice Goddess pretty much is not yet destroyed <sighs> very well once i cut down the tree the goddess will be no more the last of the mana power will disappear and i will be complete I am off to the sanctuary to deal with this. Oh no! Goddess is in danger! Oh no, Urk in danger, chat. I will not let you impede my master's plan. You shall not leave this place alive. He... Stop! Priest of Light is sick. Your friend Charlotte is looking for you. Come back to Wendell. Priest of... and... Charlotte? I do not know any such people. Uh, he... Indeed, Urken Danger. Behold, my boss, Arena. This is where you will perish. Uh, don't want to fight you just stop fear okay let's see what weakness he has absorbs light absorbs dark neutral to fire hmm you know what doesn't matter axe bomber doesn't care about any of that Nothing anymore. Death will grant you a final respite. Charlotte, sorry. Nothing we can do. We have to stop heat. Uh, is this uh, it? Where are you looking? Uh, Dark. Uh, 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 no sorry about that. Is uh, this uh, it? Uh, oh, oops. I realize there's another attack there. Oh, what the? Okay, I'm doing that to dodge his attack. Stop targeting me so I can attack you, jerk. Another one. I like how our ally actually didn't finish the last thing that I was fighting. Had I not been very aggressive there, I think I would have died. So thanks, allies. So again, defense down doesn't really seem to be mattering. I'm just doing slightly better damage. I guess this works out. And again, her being able to improve the power of debuff is very helpful here. Uh, wh where am I? No, it's not um, Urk. It's Urk. <laughs> With an E. Stay still. Say Irk. <laughs> Do not worry about me. You must get to the sanctuary of mana and stop the 
The masked mage. Who is the masked mage? In the past, Wendell was overseen by two priests. One of light and one of dark. Two halves of the same whole. The priest of light was Charlotte's grandfather. And Belgar, the priest of dark, was my father. One time, my father came across a deathly ill child so sick that they couldn't be saved by the power of light. Instead, he turned to the forbidden reviving arts for an answer. He became obsessed with cheating death. With his new dark powers, he tried to save the girl. But it was too late. But my father's obsession with the forbidden dark magic was rejected by the Temple of Light. He was thrown out for his crimes. To make matters worse, my father's face was horribly scarred by his newfound powers. He began to wear a mask to cover his head. But such a mask could do little to hide the evil growing within him. With Wendell against him, my father attempted to use his own body to test out his new reviving skills. He became... immortal. A dark lich. Unstoppable now that he has the Benevodon's power. Practically a god. I tried to make my father see reason. He was once a good, honest man. But his heart is only darkness now. Even I fell to its corruption. I am just a reanimated corpse. You helped me recover my corrupted soul from the dark depths into which I had sunk. But even though the battle brought me back to my senses for now, it is only a matter of time before I fall again. This is my last <laughs> chance. I will end it. Oh man, he's given quite a death sanctuary. monologue, Chad. You must save the goddess and defeat my father. I know you can do this. You can protect the world from evil. Heath! What are you doing? I'd like to think the what are you doing is us shouting at him because he just keeps monologuing. Everyone, may mana be with you. Oh wait, he did it! Oh, stop talking! You're already gone. Get out of here. <laughs> Stupid Heath. <laughs> Don't do the dramatic cry to the, the heavens. You barely know the character. Yeah, it's like, I'm on my deathbed. Now here's my top 50 bucket list items I have to discuss with you before I die. <laughs> it's quite something. Let's build a little meter here. I could see if escape rope works here, but I feel like the game is just trolling me. Is it? Let's get rid of this. Oops. Do this maybe? So far, I haven't really seen bus uh bosses buff themselves. I'm gonna keep the light damage for the final boss. Guess I could get rid of. Be absorbed. Okay, we can just immediately leave here. Good. So, we're gonna go hunt down the final cactus and beat the game. I don't think I need to use any stores. We're just gonna go straight to the end. No time. We have to go to the goddess of mana now. Fast mage must be defeated. <laughs> I went so fast their dialogue couldn't finish. Poor game. I'm like, yeah, yeah, beat the masked man that we barely know. He, he played so little role in what we've done. Like, Gormund felt more like the main villain than he did. Mass fans like, oh no, I am the true evil mastermind behind it all. Here's here's my lengthy background and why you should care about me. Bye. <laughs> no. No. Sanctuary of mana. Masked mage. No mercy, 
for him. This doesn't look good for the mana goddess. Let's hurry. You'll wish you'd never cross paths with us. Did they grumpkin me? That was rude. Okay, I built up a sizable amount of meter. Clear of threats. We have earned a rest. Hmm. Let's try one last time to clip out of bounds. Yeah, I'm not able to. Oh well. Let's see. Little item over here. Let's go grab this. I don't see the cactus so far. I don't care about her using level ones. That's probably fine. I recovered most of it for her. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna use Flammy again, so let's swap that item out with something else. I have nine full heals, which is what I wanted to end the game with, so I feel pretty good about that. Let's get rid of the drum. Oh, you know what we could do? Do another rich incense, maybe. See if that resets it and keeps the XP or not. Um, it's probably good enough. Hmm. I feel like I should be able to jump this. Like, this ledge in particular looks like I could land on it, but I just can't quite get it. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I really don't want to go the long way around. Give me a second chat. Just need something to stand on. It's like a little something that I'm not supposed to step on. Can't find it. So sad. We did a couple of like shortcuts, and it feels like this probably has one. Because I was trying to do it before. Maybe it's just very finicky or something. Because I felt like this little rock right there might have been good enough. But I'm not able to do it. Alright, so if I gotta do that, I gotta go the long way then. Unfortunate. So yeah, I think I ignore all treasure chests and stuff like that. Just try to get to the end. Level ups don't really. XP doesn't really mean anything anymore. Since we are way too far away from leveling. So we're gonna skip all encounters. Why didn't he pick up the item? Game, please. Thank you. Actually, do they have any hints? Newest switching classes. Try to switch your class. You're already the strongest class you can be. Focus on leveling up in order to improve yourself. Maybe there's post-game content. We're not gonna do the post-game content tonight. I'll check it briefly. Because it, it it clearly looks like there is another class level on the little chart. So now I'm just looking for little cactus. The question is, where is Little Cactus? Hmm. Do I think they're close to the boss or far from the boss? Mostly what I'm asking myself. Check around here real quick. Don't see anything. Just trying to get a sense of how much space we had between us and the boss. Looked like we had some time. Oh, there it is. Got to get this nuisance out of the way before we can go. Time for retreat. Oh, this is my fight. No need to trouble yourselves. Time for retreat. The final little cactus. 
What is your final ability? Completed. Little cactus ring. Add 100, 200 CS to all allies every battle? Did I read that correctly? I think I did. Let's improve her strength, because that's actually relevant. Max my int, which I thought I already maxed. Increase her stamina. <laughs> We're done with this character. I don't technically need anything. He has all those points in case there's another level up. Okay, so every battle adds 200 CS. Um, let's get rid of Enigma then. Just to get that. That's that's pretty broken. Uh, we also got a ring of some sort. Fill CS while walking when equipped. Um, I think I just want poison immunity, to be honest. That's that's incredibly broken with our character. Did you really make it daytime right as I'm at the end of the game? Did you really do that to me, game? <laughs> right, chat? We're, we are like one or two rooms from beating the game. You really just made me waste an item there. What a jerk. Well, I guess I have the I win button. Hmm. Surprising I can't get over this little ledge. Maybe later I'll see what people did to clip out of bounds, because I'm sure you could do it in this game. We did skip some ledges that seem unintended, but I feel like there's quite a few we didn't find, and maybe it just requires like really precise movement or something, with like a very specific angle. See ya. We're getting too good for these guys. Now we just have the auto win against everything button. So I guess we're ready for the final boss. Anything I want to set before we go in? Guess I can myth the cookie him. Anything else I want to really set? Um could reduce magic damage Dell. I definitely want to dispel in case he buffs himself. Otherwise, I think we have everything with our team. Probably another source of healing wouldn't hurt. Hopefully this is good enough. I could get silence. Uh, eh, I think I'd rather have Dispel, actually. Let's leave it like that. So anyway, time to beat the game. withered completely and the goddess of mana is no more i defeated her off screen you'll have to trust me tree of mana to sustain you. Understandable, as fairies are born of the tree in order to protect it. Of course you would perish without a purpose. Fear not, I will soon make you all my undead servants, bound to serve and protect me in this new age. <laughs> I, I had a feeling the slap was coming. That's never not going to be funny to me, Chad. I'm sorry. The slap is so good. You would prefer death to servitude. <laughs> what fools. You are throwing away the opportunity to serve an invincible god. Everybody has been bonded through slaps at this point. Matter, I have no need of servants, for I am all powerful. Oh, do you even... 
even know how long I have awaited this day. My loathing for humanity has been hidden beneath this mask. I've been concealing my true essence inside this mortal shell. But now my time has come. I will unleash this poison anger and condemn humanity to utter destruction. Do you wish to see my true form underneath this disguise? So I think if we had Charlotte and we went the necromancer path, by the way, he counts as undead from what I recall a very long time ago fighting this boss. So she could just do max damage to him over and over and over again, the SNES version, until he dies. Yeah, yeah, that's what all the supervillains say. I don't need to fight any longer. I will end you all. Yeah, so Charlotte unironically becomes like the absolute god of dealing with this chapter. She just deletes him. So maybe if we ever do a, a rematch, we just have her we just bully him into non-existence. Without the tree or mana power to help us, we will never give up. Not without a fight. Not as long as our hero, the chosen one of the mana sword, is here. Without mana, elementals and spirits may disappear from the realm. But you should not lose hope. You will be creating a new world for everyone. You must stand up and fight! The future is in your hands! Whether you can see us or not, we'll be with you always. So keep fighting! You can't lose! <laughs> Look how just angry Kevin looks all the time now. Perm Permascal. Preposterous! Without the Sword of Mana, you have no chance of defeating me. I am like a god, and you have no weapon that stands a chance in the face of immortality. Give up! Uh oh, Chad, he said like a god. Wrong. Don't it's not good enough. Even without the physical mana sword, as long as the chosen one is here, the sword that lives in all of our hearts, that we call hope, will never disappear! Foolish mortals, I will destroy any hope you have lingering in your bodies. Face the wrath of your new god! Oh, he's jiggling. Here we go, chat. This is gonna be interesting. Let's actually lower his magic damage, because I have a feeling we're going to be spammed a lot. Does he have a weakness to light? Yes, he does. Final battle. Everyone. Let's go. Oh, what? I got Moogled. How rude. Oh, this music sounds like the uh, Dark Lich music from Secret of Mana. Just listening to it. Oh, that's not the right thing. Yeah. 
Lucky, let me use my specials. Thank you. I am going to panic heal here. That was a good choice. There is so much happening on the screen. There we go. Need you to revive him. Why don't you potos everybody? I feel like he's almost dead, so unless he has a phase two, this is gonna be a fast fight. I kinda can't see what attacks he's doing. Okay, I'm building up CS for the party. Why is our party not attacking this? I would just like to say if I died because they didn't do that, I would be so mad. Okay. Possibly phase one down. Or the game is over. I'm not sure. We'll find out. The other the other fight had with Archdemon had two faces. It's impossible. Welcome, old faithful rage. Is that it? Yo, he, he got his ass beat, chat. Is that it? <laughs> okay, I got some win. GG. I can't. How is that only one phase? Thank you for never giving in to despair. The tree of mana is dead, and mana has disappeared from the world. I can't exist without mana. We didn't know each other for long, but I treasured our time together. I won't forget any of you. Mary, don't go! Please, don't worry about me. You were fighting for everyone's future, including mine. Thanks to your triumph, I will now be reborn as the new goddess of mana. like the seeds of the mana tree. Once they find a worthy person, someone with a pure heart that they trust completely, that fairy can become the new tree and goddess of the mana in the world. To bring that mana, the mana we have lost, back into this realm. I must take the tree's place and sleep here in the sanctuary. It may yet take thousand years for me to restore all of the mana but if in a thousand years your descendants still remember the tree of mana I will awaken <laughs> I'm sure I can help them in their hour of need as well but until I am needed in the future I will remain here asleep quietly protecting the world as this tree this, this is where we part, my brave heroes. Farewell. May the sword of mana, the one that lives in all your hearts, shine on forever.
I I'm shocked. That was such an easy final boss. What? I thought we were warming up for the real boss, didn't you, chat? I was like, wait, it was only one phase? Seriously? That was it? What the hell was the Archdemon fight in the SNES one that went on for an eternity? Remember that, chat? Yeah, that was just kind of sad. I'm so sorry, Elliot. I should have... You know, I had a really weird dream. I saw mother and father, and they looked so happy. And they told me something important. They wanted me to return to Laurent and help you bring prosperity back to the kingdom. They said that I shouldn't keep relying on you for everything. So, I'm gonna try my best. Shut up, Elliot. Elliot. <laughs> Alright, chat. He, he caused this whole adventure in the worst way. Stop giving him important objects. <laughs> Confine him to his room for punishment. Father. Mother. Elliot and I will work hard to build Laurent back into the peaceful kingdom it once was. Even though this world no longer has mana power, please continue to watch over my friends and me on our journey. We will do our best in the coming times. Jessica, are you okay? As you can see, she's doing fine. <laughs> Navarro thieves from all around the world have been coming back to the fortress. We should go back too. Jessica and Hawkeye. I fear I have been trapped in a nightmare for far too long. I was informed about what happened to Eagle. That is why I intend to honor his memory by bringing his beloved Thief Guild back to its former glory. Now that mana as we have known it no longer exists in this world, the water in this desert will soon dry up. Therefore, our next target is clear. We must steal water and greenery from nature itself. This desert was once a lush and fertile land. We must find a way to bring back the rain and make it hospitable once again. We cannot let the people here suffer. Not on our watch. situation before you act uh, huh? you still believe that you killed Carl see for yourself wait what <laughs> Carl? <laughs> Carl, you, you're alive. so we're just a big idiot that we didn't Go know we didn't kill him merely seem lifeless then you failed to think clearly and assumed the worst what <laughs> the, 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 what? the what from the shallow grave you dug <laughs> what i i was wrong about you <laughs> you've got to be kidding me i know 
You have always been quick to give in to weakness. I needed you stronger. Physically. And mentally. You mistakenly thought your mother left you. When she actually passed away from illness. I never told you. So that your anger would turn toward me. What? I sought to use your anger to bring out your power. But that is not true strength. True strength is being able to overcome your anguish. I care not for revenge or the mana sword. I created Ferolia because I could not tolerate the pitiful state beastmen were in. I decided to gaslight you the entire game. The humans <laughs> were relentless in their oppression of our people. I could not sit idly by. I tried to give the kingdom a shared goal by suggesting an invasion. I am truly the monster of this game. Bound by their fear of humans. It is my creed to reject all weakness. What matters in life is strength of will and body. You have finally begun your journey towards strength. <laughs> wow, wasn't that really funny when I let you think that your best friend was dead and didn't explain why your mother died and then refused to talk to you to clear up anything about Gormund? And then I went to war because I wanted to reject weakness? Aren't I a great dad? I'm, I'm number one king, baby. Even without mana. For the sake of the future. And I will surpass you. I will. That that was an intense amount of stupid in like one dialogue. I am not yet old and feeble enough to lose to you. Go now, Kevin. <laughs> and then we throw baby Ludgar at him to defeat him. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like with the slap of misunderstanding. Like what? Don't gaslight me. Get out of here. Go to credits. <laughs> Move this guy along. <laughs> forever Carl always and see my new friends they are your friends too <laughs> find more and more friends Carl And that was dot 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 an ending, yeah, pretty much. There's your credits. <laughs> Look at the voice actors. Now you know who to blame for some of those voices. We'll give a shout out to Eagle. Eagle was like one of the few good voice actors. 
Listen, he was he was given like nothing to work with and he did a great job. Some of the other protagonists, I don't know. I'm gonna write needs improvement on the report card. I'm trying to think who else was also a good voice actor that we were talking to. I think Eagle specifically stood out to me. So he he could be fine. Then you gotta think of like the shop some of the shopkeeper voices were terrible. They were really bad. Um I don't I don't think I like Duran's voice actor. I do think definitely by the end, Lise was still or Reese, excuse me, was still one of the worst. Kevin, I don't think is necessarily bad per se, but it was such like an awkward voice pick. It's more I think the pick was wrong. Whereas Reese, I just feel like, was not consistent at all with her character. You like most of the spirits? Yeah, Reese, Reese was like, I talk like Starfire sometimes. On my planet, this is what I do. And then other times she just drops it completely. Hot <laughs> guy was fine, that's true. I don't think I heard enough of Angela to have an opinion. We had a lot of dialogue with Durin. I Did we even interact with her more than one scene? I don't think so, right chat? So TBD, I guess with her. I thought some of the spirits were good. Some of them were kind of mediocre. They weren't the worst. They were generally not the worst. The, the Salamander guy was cracking me up though. Salamando with the gar. <laughs> like, what is he doing? <laughs> that one was so awkward. <laughs> Fairy, Fairy was probably the best out of the bunch. I honestly think she also outacted pretty much all the protagonists. <laughs> Are we really having a training montage with Baby Ludger? Is this really happening? Oh my god, this is so stupid. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Are all the best voice acting? That's true. Wow. Wow. I like that King Gaslight over here, like, knew Gormon was evil, but seemed to just not care. Is that my takeaway from the ending? He's like, yeah, you got tricked, and, uh, yeah, I never really explained anything to you, and, uh, we went to war, got rid of weakness, and this was a journey about you. It's your fault for not being more powerful sooner. Like, what? <laughs> Just like what a what an absolutely ridiculous series of lines to be delivered from the king. That was so bad. So I'm gonna say Kevin's ending absolutely ridiculous. Worst ending in terms of writing, but even though it was technically a good ending. Holy. This guy, Flame Con. I like that I know him. I <laughs> think his name was just so. His name was so out there. I was like, we're just. I am Flame Con. Look at him, chat. Look at that mustache. Oh right, Jessica. I I guess was also there. I guess. That one Valkyrie was so miscast. Oh yeah, that's true. I forgot about her. I don't even remember her name to be honest. I know who you're talking about, though.
<laughs> I like to think that she just walks forward, just shoves him off the cliff, right, chat? It'll be like the opening of Berseria all over again. Just go down the well, Elliot. We need to feed the spirit beast. Call him Laffy Elliot. <laughs> I'm gathering thoughts about who I thought the worst and best boss fight was in the game. It's hard. It's like. It's one of those things where like sometimes the boss technically wasn't bad. It's more the AI made it unfun because they just didn't know how to handle the gimmick. Like the gimmick itself wouldn't have been bad if it was just me versus the boss. But the problem is just like. When there's multiple targets, they had no idea what to do. Like when Gorman split up, they had no idea how to target him. They, they might as well have just walked in the corner. They didn't do anything in that half of that fight. Compare it to like when we were fighting uh, the mage, where for like a long time he didn't summon anything, how bad he got bullied for like the first 50% of his HP. He got bullied bad. Or like... When we're fighting Krako or uh, the ghost boss, they generally knew what to do. They didn't really know how to break. Oh, that's the other thing. They seem to be really bad at breaking the you must destroy this or get wrecked ability. Yeah, I don't know why we have another credit roll, to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to save some of that for f true final thoughts. I'll think about whether or not I want to do another playthrough. I'll need like a small break, which is good because we're we're on Thursday, so I have some days to think about it. My gut instinct is right now I wouldn't want to play it again, but I'm somewhat curious about the other paths to see like how difficult it would be without Kevin. I'm kind of curious about that, and then also if I wanted to try hard mode. Now that I've played the game and understand where it's big, big, big pitfalls are, what I could do to get over it. I'll think about it. We need to know if anyone's ending can rival Kevin's. I mean, we could do Charlotte, Durin, whatever, Angela, just get the other three endings. Yeah, if there's like a... I definitely don't want to do the hardest difficulty. I, I think in terms of difficulty, the game was like more front-loaded in difficulty. I feel like once you got your first class upgrade, it dropped by like 30%. And then when you got the up next upgrade after that, the game was like crazy easy. Like, I felt the Benevidons were, like, one of the easiest portions of the game, which is, like, the exact opposite of the SNES, where the Benevidons were the big problem. Well, some of them were, not all of them. But, like, the ones that I was worried about basically didn't get to do anything because they were more fair bosses, which is not inherently bad. It's just that you, I have different expectations having played the SNES one. So, like, it, I'll always think of the game being much harder and more unfair, and for the most part, bosses were fair in this game. There's a couple where I'm like, there's just too much nonsense going on. I do feel like Dark Lich's attacks were hard to read because his attack blocked the indicator of the next attack, which was kind of rude. He was probably one of the bosses I felt it was a little awkward to fight. Door boss. Door boss, the first fight was horrendous. That's a good example where the boss has a gimmick that's not necessarily horrible, and it is annoying that it has, like, a lot of ads. But the fact, like, the AI literally never, ever got close to the door after being shoved back once, I think really says it all. Doors are the bane of the stream? Yeah, they really were. So, like, I made some adjustments to make the game a bit easier by just being... 
by risking not getting a single armor upgrade to buy healing items. And I think, chat, you have to kind of agree, that worked out. Once I bought that bulk healing item instead of bothering with armor, that went, like, really smooth after that, plus the class upgrade. A combination of those two and sometimes letting the AI heal itself was good. Fortunately, this game, you end up with a lot of extra money, and we did do more combat than normal, I guess. Like... I did like maybe about 90% combat towards the end versus like 40% like when I first played in the SNES. I think the final boss was higher level than us. So we weren't as high as the game wanted us to grind, but we did still damage him pretty quickly. I don't think the level ups kind of matter after a certain point. Once we capped strength, the game gradually got a little bit harder as the game caught up to us because it didn't assume we would go pure strength build which is, you know, a big folly on the game's behalf to think that I'm not going to do that. So anyway, let, let's see what we unlock. Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Where am I? What? Oh, oh, I see. This world is... <laughs> What? Oh, maybe that's the post-game content? Recover 2 MP for all allies every 10% in battle. Yeah, like, if I had this in New Game Plus, chat would actually just get mad. Could you imagine if I got the 200% chain ability plus auto-recover MP? You would absolutely be mad. You'd be like, why am I even watching? He's never going to die. <laughs> just, just, he's immortal. He's, he's just not, he's not going to die. So maybe we'll at least do the post game on Tuesday because it seems like there is post game. I'll make another save. In case I want to do anything before and after. Yeah, I think we were maybe like two or three levels under the boss. Oh, jeez, that's bright. Oh, my gosh. I, was, <laughs> I got blinded for a second. So if I do a new game. I didn't seem to unlock anything. Maybe I have to beat the game on hard mode first? I know there's other difficulties. So I'm gonna load into the game to see if anything special happens. Okay, so there is like a plot going on. So let's save that I think for next time then. That's just all I wanted to confirm. So I didn't seem to get like a new game plus option unless I load the game again or something like that. So let's go to Let's Chat, I guess. So yeah, I think we'll continue next time. I wasn't sure what would happen, although the game itself does not want to be closed, apparently. It's like, thou shall not close me. Okay, get out of here, close the game. So thoughts and feelings on this session. Um... I think the hardest boss in the game was Triple Robot. Followed by maybe Door. And then I would say the first ninja fight. After that, every other boss is just much easier. They're not even on the same tier, at least from the playthrough standpoint. So we'll avoid giving final thoughts for now, since it seems like there's some post-game content. So we'll continue with our party on Tuesday, I guess, and see what this new content is. Um, I think we'll maybe get the new class upgrade, or maybe we have to beat this new post-game content to get new difficulties. Not sure how it works. We'll figure it out. And then uh, from there, we'll decide to pick another character. But yeah, I, I think sadly those abilities to get recovering MP, auto MP, is not really relevant at all in our playthrough. I mean, I guess it's somewhat useful for the other character, but we also have like 14 fairy walnuts if I really need it. So I'm not, I'm not super concerned. I'll put it that way, Chad. I'm not super concerned. So yeah, let's leave that for next time. The final boss was a big disappointment. He got absolutely bodied how did he not have a second phase that's insane like that was sad chat i i don't know if he changed weaknesses i don't even know if he had like he barely got through a pattern 
I don't even know if he started repeating moves, he died so quickly. I, and like, if I had realized there wasn't another phase, he would have died even faster. Yeah, I didn't even use like the class strikes of either of the other two characters manually. So yeah, that fight would have been over way faster. What kind of final boss doesn't have a second phase? Yeah, exactly. Are you even a final boss if you don't have a second phase? It's crazy. So anyway, we'll leave it there for now. Um, thoughts? I started to have more fun when I started to get more class strike generation. Downside, all the same issues from the earlier session were still there. I think the difference is just that I'm able to hard carry as Kevin easier as I get more class abilities. But man, they're just the AI is so bad in this game. There is really not really an excuse for it. So sadly, they did not take notes from East or Tales. Uh, very common things that have been fixed since like Tales of Destiny on the PS1 have not been fixed in a Switch game for some reason. I mean, it's just like... <laughs> I, I don't know, chat. It's one of those things where I, I would have rated this game so much higher if the AI was not like complete bumbling fools. Like, to me, it really takes away from the fun. Like, think about it this way. I don't need them to perfectly dodge, but like every single time the boss did like an AoE, they took it in the face and died. I think at one point in this session, they, no, not one point. At several points in this session, both allies died to the same attack multiple times. That happened, what, on the winged boss fight? It happened in the lich fight? It happened in the pumpkin fight? It happened in... Those are the major ones where I can recall offhand it happened. Where just both of them just didn't dodge the big slow laser and died. Oh, the uh, moon tower boss. Yeah, they had no idea how to fight the moon tower boss. So they just took the damage and died. So it's just kind of like one of those things where it's like... I want to like it more. And the combat is very simple. And it got a little more fun when I got to the final class change. But man, they are they are so dumb, chat. <laughs> Just like they're they're as dumb as that plot twist was where Carl was alive the whole time. Like they they were lacking some IQ and brain cells, chat. I don't know. That was quite an ending. So it is what it is, I suppose. But hey, we we beat it technically. I, there's a star game clear. Shrug. So we'll try to beat it on hard mode. See how we feel about it. And if. It, it should unlock at least one more difficulty at some point. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, like, I feel like if I play a character that has elemental damage, I should basically just steamroll the final half of the game. It's more that early. That early portion of the game is going to be really rough. So think about it this way. Like, I won't have AoE heal. And I'll have two spellcasters and one physical damage dealer. So I'm not going to be doing a lot of damage to bosses in general. So that's going to be a little painful before we start getting good AoEs. So we'll try it. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll make up for it. Also, the mystery seeds. That was absolute BS. I would like to call it out. Wow, chat. Wow. That took literally all six seeds. I think that I is that worst luck imaginable? <laughs> I think it was, chat. I think it actually was. I can't believe I didn't get that ability. That was insane. I was like, how did I not get the class upgrade? Holy. Man, even with the bonus seed making it, I think seven class seeds, I, I didn't get it into the last one. Absolute madness. But anyway, chat, that's it for now. So. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. So if you did watch at this point, the video or the VOD, just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again, I guess, in the next part.